Hey, everybody. How's it going? Okay, I'm trying to, you know, I want to, I decorated a little. I wanted you guys to appreciate the decorations because last time I got a lot of grief. How's it going? Welcome to the after party. Uh, so yeah, Tuesday night festivities after party, uh, Eric Anders was on with us and, uh, we had a good time over there on Instagram. He died at the end. He just sent me a message. He's like, Oh, sorry about that. I'm like, Oh, okay. It's, it's good. I need to answer him here. But, uh, yeah, so we are going to keep the party going here and Hinato Laranja will be joining us. And so, like I was saying before over there, uh, I, uh, sent invites out to Anthony and to Rashad. And so we should be catching up from those guys. And I guess Rashad was actually on Anthony's show earlier today over there on Sirius. So it's cool. You know, we're all buddies. Well, if we're spilling tea, I mean, not everybody hangs out, but you know, mostly we all get on great. Uh, okay. So actually, oh no, Dean, do you listen to Lisa, Lisa and Cult Jam? I wonder if I take you home. I remember that. What up, Marcos Martinez? Uh, oh my God. What up, nonstop re-TV? What up, um, Musio Cortez? We're going to have Bam Bam on. Okay. So I don't know. So here's the thing with Bam Bam. I sent him all the information and he was flying in today, I guess. So, uh, I was like, look at, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Okay. What am I doing here? I don't, I just, I wanted you guys to see my little decorations. Um, I don't know what his deal is in terms of, uh, like if he's going to be able to do it or not. Um, because just because he's, um, yeah, like he just got here. But look who is here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh wait. I, it, is he, maybe he doesn't. Hey, hey, okay. What's going on, KB? What's going how you on, doing, man? Sugar? What up, everybody? It's Sugar Rashad Evans. How you feeling, baby? I'm feeling great. Feeling great. Feeling great. Just great. coming back from a, uh, an award show, Sports Illustrated award show. So. I'm good. Do I need to move my camera a certain kind of way? Like, I mean, sideways, you could or... be just a little closer, I guess. I don't, I don't, oh, look at that's even better. Look at I don't that. Know. I don't even know what to look right now. I'm looking. I know. don't know, but that looks good. That looks good. Hey, so listen, and what I'm going to do is I want to, I want to um, get on the gram too and like tell people, oh, shoot, oh, you shoot. know what? I, <laughs> I forgot to, um, I forgot to send it to, uh, Hanato, isn't that hilarious? I'm so bad. You said do what? <laughs> I forgot to just, I forgot to just, um, uh, I forgot to send the thing to Hanato to invite you. Remember how I sent you guys? I sent it to you. I forgot to send it to him. Oops. Um, mm. <laughs> I was so concerned about asking, inviting everybody that like isn't usually on that I forgot to ask the guy that is usually on. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I know. So look I, at people like, oh my God, where's Hinaj? And he didn't get the link. I know. That's my bad. That's my bad. Hey, so what was the what was the uh, award ceremony about? You said it was Sports Illustrated. Yeah, Sports Illustrated, their yearly show where they uh, honor the athletes and people in their um, in their circle who who've made an impact. You know, they had Billie Jean King on there. They had uh, who else? Um, uh, LeBron Ward. Not LeBron. Uh, Shaq won an award. A few, uh -huh. few people. Tom Brady was uh, man of the year. Nice. He was in attendance. So it was pretty cool, man. Uh, Ray Lewis was there. Dan okay. Marino. A lot of different people there. A lot. Nice. It was, it was, nice. It was pretty cool. Awesome. Was, awesome. Yeah. That's very cool. Well, you know, it's funny because uh, before on the other show, you know, <laughs> at the beginning, I was talking about the fights and this weekend and Jose Aldo. What oh my god, like we were saying, you know, like he's reborn, like he's 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 becoming that guy that he was before. It's amazing that he's doing this, and everybody forgets they're like everybody's like imagines Jose so old. He just turned 35 in September. And listen, he's he's catching his second win, and that's the most important part. I mean, as a as a fighter. The hardest thing to do in the game is to reinvent the game once you see what's at the top. You know, once you climb the top of the mountain, you climb the top of the mountain. You know what I'm saying? You see the good, the bad. You see the people 
around you for the good and you see the people who are not there for the, for, the, for when it, when it goes bad you know so uh to not get jaded to not um allow himself to fall in that mental space where you know he loses that connection with the sport mm -hmm. is is impressive you know because i mean you know he he's been jose back in wec and then he had a stint in the ufc and yeah. you know that was even more impressive than what he did in wc but you know, I got a feeling at 135, he's still yet to show people what he's got in the gas tank, you know? It's so cool, too, because, <laughs> excuse me, it's just like, obviously, a lot of people started watching the UFC. You you, you got to remember, people are always new fans, right? And so with Connor being Connor, a lot of people came because of him. And so a lot of mm -hmm. people saw him fight Jose and that may have been their first understanding of who he is. Right. And so they're like, oh, he's a dude that got knocked out in 17 <laughs> seconds. You're like, no, 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 no. No, like he's so much more than that. Um, so for me, he was always a guy that like was one of my favorite people to watch because he just terrorized dudes. And he was so aggressive and just so furious and just nonstop. But at the same time, when you would see him outside of it, he genuinely is a warm person, mm -hmm. you know, and he has a really great smile. And whenever I've ever interviewed him, like he's just he's just a really good guy. Yeah. Um, and I really like the dichotomy of that. But he yeah, he's just he's just somebody that I'm just so excited to see have new life, you know, and just. Yeah. And just go for it again. It's totally cool to me. Yeah, it is, man. And if you look at just, you know, how he's picked himself up and, you know, you know, typically speaking, <clears throat> as you start losing weight, you don't, you know, see athletes do better. You know, sometimes when they yeah. start off heavier and they start losing weight, you're just like, oh man, it's probably the beginning of the end. But he's really found a way to, to not only, you know, make the weight, but he looks damn good at that weight. You know, going into championship rounds, and still having to pop. And and the thing is, now it's like he's he's reestablishing what it means to be a 135 pounder just because of the fact that he's just such a he's so big, you know, watching him fight yeah. Rob Font. You know, one of the biggest things in that fight was the fact that he was so much stronger than Rob. You can yeah. see that when whenever uh Jose hit him, you know, he would he would he would fall back and you can mm -hmm. just see the power and the explosiveness that mm -hmm. he has, and he's like Man, he hasn't lost one thing yet. Yeah, he seemed a lot more powerful. Uh, and that definitely did seem to be the difference maker. And yeah, at this yeah. point, you know, I mean, I, I'm not I'm not mad at TJ versus Jose. I know. Like I know, if that if, if that's next, like I'm not mad at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, so it, maybe that'll happen. Um, but if not, I suppose he could wait and see what happens because, you know, Aldo came with us and, and was talking with us and, you know, he'll be ready. And what, I'm not exactly sure what his timeline is, but maybe what was he saying? Like sort of, I would hope first quarter, maybe like maybe Marches or something. I don't know. I guess he didn't actually say, right. He didn't, he didn't say, he didn't say and that's smart for him not to say is because he doesn't want to, you know, not to disappoint and not be able to make the date that he said, you know what I'm saying? So that's good that he didn't say that. But I mean, I just hope that he gets in there soon because I, I'm I'm a big uh, Aljo fan. You know, I think that Aljo uh, is, is phenomenal, and I think that you know um, he's he's grown so much. And I I believe in Aljo. I think that Aljo definitely, you know, is definitely up there uh, and can and can compete with uh you know with Jan. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like he's he's kind of fallen into a mode of just being that, that troll type of thing, you know? And, and then like, um, you know, it, it's good to get people's goat at the same time, you know, yep. it's fine. But at the, you know, what you got to realize that, yo, these, these it's, it's disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Like these people are just so disrespectful to all Joe. And I'm just like, I yeah, know it's so disrespectful, man. They, they don't give my man any love, but I mean, he's, he's certified, man. He's definitely certified. Yeah, no, and and that's the thing is like I I uh I guess it's because you know look at nobody nobody wants to win the title that way. It's not like Aljo like dreamed of winning with a DQ knee and you know what yeah. I mean? It's not, you know, 
But at the same time, you can't blame him. And everybody's like acting like, oh, well, you know, you know, but like, yeah, but he is the champ. Whether you he like is, it or not. He is, he is. He, he, Whether you he like is, it or not. Yeah, he is a champ. He is a champ. I just, I just need him to, to get back out there and remind everybody well, exactly. who he is, you know? Like when, exactly. like, like I was a believer before, but I really became a believer in Al Jones, what he could do when he beat my boy, Corey Sanhagen. I mean, Sanhagen to me, it's like, when I look at the 135 weight class, there's just certain athletes in that weight class that I'm just like, I love the way they fight. I love it. I love yep. it. I love it. Uh, Corey's one of those guys. TJ Dillashaw is one of those guys. Um, Dominic Cruz is another one of those guys. Uh, Jan is one of those guys. I mean, they, they, they got a lot of them in that weight class, and that has not always been the case yep. at the 135 weight class. You know, this weight class has has become one of you know one of my favorites in the UFC just because of the fact that it's got so many killers in there from one through 15. You know what I'm saying? It's yep. like the 155 weight class, just killers one through one through the bottom, you know, one through 15. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that weight class Gosh. is so high. What? Oh, I, oh, not wow. We were just talking about the uh, incredible 135 weight class with, you know, all the killers and Jose Aldo, your countrymen doing, but what's, what's wrong? I'm sorry I forgot the link. Uh, no, no, <laughs> you know, you should be apologized to the fan. Uh, well, what it was, I was explaining to everybody, what it was is I was so concerned about sending it out to our guests that I just in my brain assumed that I had already sent it to you because I was like making sure for sure I invited our guests. Well, of course, you know, because it, my brain already mistake. went that we were so connected that the assumption was that it already had done it for you. You know, the only problem is that they, they tuned in and they thought you was interviewing one of the members of Earth, Wind and Fire. For <laughs> and not even one of the original member. You know, when you watch Earth, Wind and Fire and they only got like two of the members from the old days and they got one young blood on the base and you're like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> that, that that's, that's Hashaj. <laughs> now, how you doing, my brother? It's been a long time. I'm good, man. It looked like you just got left listening to the quiet storm, huh? Boy, what was that? You was listening to the quiet storm, wasn't you? Just sitting there listening. Oh, quiet storm, out. he said. Yeah. Listen oh, to that, the that, quiet that's storm. Hopping, um, fuck it. I'm gonna bring. I'm doing it live. I had to move it over here. Look. I was gonna say I gotta do a story to t tell people that we're here. You mean tell people that you uncle? Yeah, we're here on YouTube. But can you see the questions and everything here? Everybody's like, "Oh, we I, here." Okay, what up, Mystic Black? I can't. <laughs> I can't see shit. Um, because yes, hit the thing on the right, and then you should be able to see the comments. No, not all the way to the right. You should see something that says comments. Here's the reason why I can't see the comment because I tried to go on. Um, on Uncle's on CPT is a hundred percent right. Never mind that you didn't send me the CP fucking uh, link. Um, <laughs> now. What I was trying to say is I, I tried to win on the fucking computer, which is the best way to do this one. Yeah. And then it said I got to download the latest fucking Google Chrome me. Then I did that. And then how the fuck I get on Gmail? Because my Gmail is not on that. It's on Safari. So now when I went to do that, I put Gmail. I'm just fucking telling you. It don't work. And then so I said, fuck it. I'm going to just go on the goddamn phone. Um. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. I mean, so now I can't see the people. I have to. Well, have on to... your computer, you should do it on Chrome. Yeah, no shit. It wasn't working. Oh, you don't. You did. see, that's the problem. You're not even listening. God, are you? <laughs> never mind. God, are you? <laughs> yeah, never mind. Um, Can you brother. talk for a second? I'm gonna do what's it. Up? What's up, Hanach? I, you know, I'm just excited. I, you know what? I, I'm just excited, you know, to, to get a chance to see you shine, I'm my brother. Oh, man. God, uh, you look at your, your, your forehead is shining like a monk. <laughs> but also, you come here. You're alive doing the after party. It's yeah, really my forehead is shining big time, man. I just, got um, done from, I just came back from this uh, this event. And oh, just, that, that they hand out? In, he's in doing jujitsu. What? I'm gonna do a jujitsu. Jiu I got a jujitsu fight coming up. No shit. Where? Wait. First of all, before that, you just came from an event. What event? Yeah, the sports. Soil, the Soul sports. Train Awards. <laughs> 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 you just got to. 
Which one you watch? The Essence Award? <laughs> what, what, uh, which sports, one? Sports what? Illustrated. Sports Illustrated. Award. Oh, no shit. Who, who was mm-hmm. host that one this year? Uh, it was uh, DJ Khaled. And this, DJ uh, Khaled, they should have you on Kohanai. Did you hear her do? We know yeah, that. And, yeah, and who, we and the who's that. And who's that lady from ESPN? Uh, her name is Carrie. Carrie she Champion. A, Carrie Champion. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, she, yo, they, they did good, man. It was, it was pretty. I like that one chick, that sports chick. What's her name? Taylor Hooks or whatever? Mm. I don't know. Mm. Anyway. So, but Taylor I'm glad Hooks? they brought you in. There, I don't, I don't know who did that you, is. Did you, were you just uh, spectating or you was presenting? No, nah, I, was, I was spectating, just chilling, man. Just uh, it was over at the Hard Rock. Here it was in, at uh, the Hog Watch. Nah, Hard Rock. Hard. Oh, rock. the Hard Rock. Where? Where? Which one? The one, the Seminole, the one, the one here in uh, Florida. Oh, in Florida, mm-hmm. like Hollywood, Florida, or something like Hollywood, that. Hollywood, Florida. Oh, yeah, Florida. we've been there. We've had UFC fights there. Yeah, what do you mean nice. we, Kimo Sabi? I mean we. I've worked for them for ten years. We. Yeah, they was fighting. You know. I know, but we <laughs> worked there. We we worked there. Wow, you're gonna be a dick about that, huh? Listen, well, well, you, I'm seeing if you're paying attention. You're sitting there. Uh, uh, I'm trying to front. advertise the fact that we're on to get more of your friends here to come watch, bro. My friends. What about your friends, God? Are you? Bring some I mean, of your I'm female saying, friends. I'm, it's a I'm sausage trying fast. to make an huh? ad to let you know. God. <laughs> it's a sausage fast in here, Pohan. <laughs> Me and Hashad want to look at some female. God, are you? He's married, God, but he's not dead. Huh? <laughs> so, so, Hinato, yeah, do you have any tips for, for Rashad? Because he does have a, a slappy. You, right, slappy uh, Hassad, slap. you're allowed to like slap uh, during this oh, match? You're doing combat jujitsu? Yeah. Mm, very nice. I think that, man, you got to focus on the slap the shit out of these guys because I think that that's the thing that, that, that fuck people up. I think don't be shy about just hitting somebody as hard as you can, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I've seen a couple of guys. Um, there's a few guys in there that don't care about, like, it seemed like they go extra hard, and then the guy who gets slapped go like, you know, somebody slapped the mm-hmm. taste out of his mouth. He go like, "God damn, I can't believe you!" It's like, it's just a shock. do it. <laughs> it's, a it's a shock. It's a shock at first. Huh? <laughs> it's a shock. It's like he slap boxing back in the day. You know. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. I really like I that. Think, I I think eventually Puerto Rico is probably gonna be the 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 hotbed of that one. Cause like for Jiu Jitsu Brazil, you know, Puerto Ricans back in the day was good at slap boxing. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> it was good at handball, stickball, and slap boxing. It's slap boxing. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So maybe I think you're gonna find they they're gonna have a lot of studio out there for Puerto Rican slap boxing and stuff like that. Oh Puerto my Rican. god. Yeah. I don't know about I don't know about that, man. I mean, well, I do. Um, yeah. What now? It's, it's, we it's gonna be to in Cancun. A, huh? It's gonna be yeah, he gets to go down to Cancun to do it. Ooh, that sounds nice. I know. You're bringing the family or you're going solo? Just going solo. That's what I would do too, my brother. Yeah, Hanato doesn't want you to do anything with the family, really. Well, I don't mind what he what anybody do with the family, just as long as I'm gonna do that one. <laughs> you That's not get... all in the family. That's this is Hanato, something I'm different. Surpri- I'm surprised that you ain't got a whole like whole situation happening here. I'm talking about with with, with you know, a wife and the kids and all that. I mean, how is that? How is that possible? A good-looking brother like yourself. Right. How do you stay? How do you? How do you keep? How do you keep them off you where you're not getting caught with the child support? You. Well, you know, you know, I stay, I stay under the radar. You know what I'm saying? I'm always moving. I'm always. I. I don't. I. I'm hard to pin down, Kara. You're just like in my jujitsu. You know, you can't let your back to get pinned down here. You have to always get to your side and keep you shrimping out of that one. Oh, uh, okay. Because I see I shrimp I, away from the child support. I used I used to look forward to your uh to your Sunday your Sunday post. You know what I'm saying? Every Sunday you have some nice little eye candy to look at. You know, yeah, and you the best do thing and the nice, best thing about exactly. the best thing about your little eye candy piece, it wasn't the girls that had like you know hundreds and thousands of followers. It was ones that made you really feel like you know what. 
I got a chance. Yeah, the diamonds <laughs> in the huff. Nice. Yeah, catch that the before. diamonds in the rough. Yes. I catch that once before they get they get they they somebody get to their mind get before yeah. their mind get fucked up. Yeah, you know, like umfufu. You know, in in um in Eddie Murphy Hall. Yeah. I find them butt naked on the zebra. First. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't even have a pocket, no uh... money, no nothing. They don't know what's going on. And the next thing you know, I won't have. I won't yeah. have. They say, you treat me like animal. Why you treat me like animal? animal? Okay, yeah. or... I want what's coming to me. <laughs> I can't have that. I can't have them talking to American women. Once yeah. that happens, or, you forget smart. about that one. But or let me just tell you, we're talking... You know, and I, you know, to take a page out of from Pretty Choney in, in the Mac, when grown folks is talking, shut the fuck up, yeah? <laughs> so hold on for a second. I'm talking here. Um... It may be to lose my train of train of thought. Um, the fuck was I just talking about? Uh, you were talking. To, you were quoting the movie, and you were saying that bro. they were. Uh, never mind. Now see. Why you talking about why you can't be around American women? Right. Uh, now I can't remember. It don't matter. But go ahead, no. Karen. It was so important. <laughs> go ahead. No, I was just saying it was like another famous quote from a Quentin Tarantino movie when Samuel Jackson was talking about having the country girl like staying in a place in Watts and lying to her and saying she was living in Hollywood. Well, I think that was um, not Jackie Brown. I think yes, it was. exact. It was Jackie Brown. It was Jackie Brown. I love that character that he played. Yeah, he's great at that it. That was a great fucking character. He was a cold blooded. When he did that thing to to um, Chris Chaka, you know, he made him like we're gonna drive over here and do that, and then just drive mm -hmm. around the fucking thing. Oof! And they was playing that that um, Strawberry Letter Letter Twenty Three. Uh, yeah. That... yeah, that shit was called Blooded. <laughs> what a fucking movie! Jackie Brown is one of those movies that get better every single time you watch that one in the theater because it followed Pulp Fiction. I was like, yeah, it was okay. Then I saw it again. And then I was like, you know what? That's pretty good. And then boom. And then boom. And then every time you watch, it come more into view, you know? I've never seen Jackie Brown. Is it good? Oh, you see that shit. It's I really good. Well, it. here's a little. You'll love that one. A little bit of whatever, Hanato. You're going to give me grief and say I'm being whatever. But I actually did the press. I worked the press junket for that movie. Oh, whenever. ooh la la. Well, of course it's the best one because you So are I should, I would run and go get it. I have a Jackie Brown hat. They gave out Kangol hats for us. Ooh. And, and it says, and so it's black and it has a yellow and a red stripe on it. And it says Jackie Brown and I have it and I should go get it. Um, and I don't believe um, you. You're lying. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll go get it. I believe you. God, are you? Who played who played um, who played Jackie Brown? Pam Greer? Oh yeah. So Pam, Pam Greer, Greer is in it. And then it's Robert hey, Pam Forster. Was, Pam was something back in the day, man. She was but it's really oh, it's Pam it's Greer Rashad, back in the it's day, a God, really God. good movie because it's it's like a caper movie, but at the same time, it's a Tarantino movie. You know, like I love Reservoir Dogs. I saw Reservoir Dogs three times in the theater. It's one of those movies that I watch constantly. I I I, I know like every line of that movie. Uh, so I, I'm down with you know with Tarantino movies and stuff, but uh, Jackie Brown is well worth seeing. Yeah, gotta you gotta see, see that. you gotta see that. There's I mean, no, there's no bad Tarantino. Every fucking Tarantino movie is worth seeing for me. I think so. Uncle Hanat, you all you are a movie buff, like you know all kind of movies. That's why I was gonna say movies. I wanted to bring you know, it up. Like, you know the movies that a lot of people just have no idea about. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm a connoisseur for her. Do you know uh, Education of Sonny Carson? Of course. Come on, my brother. You, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got to take them off of here. I got to take them off of here because there's only one, and that's me. That's right. For all that fighting, sucker think he good. Sucker think he can he can whoop me. Boy, I, 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 boy. That nigga whole style, whole style, style is chump. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what is that? Um, the, oh, education of Sonny, the Education of Sonny Carson. Oh, I didn't see that. It's a seventies movie about yeah, gangs 70s. in New York and shit like that, and this one kid and a lot of stuff. So it's a good, it's a good one, and there's a lot of hip hop sample. There's a lot of Wu Chang sample from uh, mm -hmm. Ghostface Killer and shit like that. What yeah. about what but about like, uh, what about Rudy Ray Moore? I mean, oh, my dog's yeah. name is Hootie, 
because of the booty. <laughs> oh, hole. shoot. Uh, because of that? Yep. And she's a female. And oh. I still named her that. Yeah, Rudy Ray Moore is a bad, he is a bad. I bad. mean, you know, I'm a Hootie Hey Moore guy from from way back, boy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we need we need to have like a a movie uh, a movie club or something like that. You, you know, Hina- who you can Hinato's, talk to about Hinato's this. Hinato's movies of the week. That's what you need to do. You make co- it- well, you know, well, that's okay. The thing. Of all the fighters that I ever met in my life, the one who can fuck with my knowledge, who who I can go back and forth with, Josh Barnach. Yep. Even in shit like Dolomite, even in the black stuffs, Josh Barnett will surprise the fuck out of you. Dang, for real. Like I, he might even I, nah. own some of the ones that you're talking about. Yeah. Damn, that 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 just that just fucked my whole mind. If I would have never thought that about Josh. you, next time you see him, ask him some shit, and he'll be like, "Oh yeah, that was not." He's like Tarantino. Like he'll be like, "Oh yes, uh, so and so, 1973, yep. and it was a." Uh, so and so, like he's that much a nerd like that, yeah. Dang. Well, people should know we did a we did an episode of our show. Josh was on with us right before Halloween, right? So we talked all about like vampire movies and horror movies and scary movies, and a bunch of like just other film stuff as well. And then we talked about making whiskey. We talked about music, you know, just all kinds of stuff. So if people want to, and that show went really long, but it's true. It was just like hanging out and just having like, so I would totally recommend people just like grab a beverage and kick back. Cause we had such a cool, fun uh, conversation with Josh about movies and stuff. It was really good. Yeah, it was a good one. I, I, I always enjoy Josh Barnett. I've watched some fucking crazy shit with that guy. Always fun. Uh, he's a, he's a, He's a he's a trip that one. Yeah. Um, uh, some somebody asked, I will be he miss. I saw in the comments because I have to, you know, on oh, the phone I can do it, but I have to go back and forth if I want to look the comment. So, uh, someone asked about my swatter, uh-huh. and I will be he miss if I didn't tell them. They said, what kind of swatter is that? Hey, that's what's known as a herringbone. You see the design? Kind of like, <laughs> that's it called herringbone. Yeah, it look like herring. Is it is it cashmere herringbone? Wow. Herring bone shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You think it ain't when it is? For <laughs> you know, the game is to be sold, not told, young black. <laughs> hey, so, you know, um, uh, Rashad, somebody is asking how... how um, J uh J H L twenty five or J H one twenty five is saying, ask Rashad how his mom is doing and to do his impre- your impression of her. And it's My so mom. funny because one thing that I love that the story that you told is, you know, people talk sometimes about their kids, you know, getting into fights and they don't want their kids to get in fights. And you I this always cracked me up that you said that you came from such a family, like a big family of kids, and your mom wouldn't get mad if you got in fights. She would get more mad if you didn't stand up for each other. Is that yeah, the yeah, <laughs> yeah? When I when I was in grade school, like first grade, I had this guy that wanted to fight me, and I was going to fight him. But then he had two of his older cousins with him, and my brothers and sisters were afraid to like jump in because their older cousins used to beat up my oldest brother. So they was like shook, right? So this kid, uh, he hit me and I didn't hit him back. And I started crying and then I went home. And then my mom was like, what's wrong with Rashad? And then they told her what happened. She was like, I know goddamn well. Y'all just just sit up there and let Rashad get his ass whooped. <laughs> my mom made me go back to school and fight that kid, man. And she said, and, and, and listen, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, listen, if if Rashad go back and he come back, what all y'all asses is getting beat. <laughs> it's so my, great. But my mom my mom was like that though. She was she wasn't, you know, she uh she she's she she wasn't about that. But man. that's smart though, to teach yeah. loyalty and to teach family family above all. And yeah, stick man. together because you together, to. you know, if you look watching each other's back, it's harder for them to pick you up. You know, and I'm mean, yeah. yeah, have to be together. And, and, and to her, she's like, you know, there, there was five of us, you know, or seven of us at the time, or right. six of us, six of us at the time. And she's like, how did all like how come nobody did nothing? Like, come on, like I have six kids for nothing. Like, <laughs> 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 y'all better be an army for each other, you know? Yeah. That's yeah, why I man. keep my kids separate. I never let them to to commiserate with each other because <laughs> they're gonna form like a union or something like that. I keep them like <laughs> slaves. Like I keep them in different part of the world, different country, different city. That's... I don't let the I, I, I teach the baby mamas to hate each other 
So that's, they're not going to, so they're not going to unionize for her. Huh? That's, that's good that you got them in different countries too, because that messes up the whole child support claiming thing. It's a exactly. messy thing. And now with COVID to... and everything, yeah, there's, but... there's so many stuff they can't get to each other. I don't they wanna... can't unionize. I don't want to get too personal, but don't you have one in Canada? I do got one in Canada. Yeah, I do got one in Canada. I do. I got one in Canada. Montreal. It be she, like she, that. All oh, them French speaking ones. I I did yeah, seminars she, in Montreal. She's uh, oh, she's God, twenty twenty two right now. Yeah, yeah. You got oh your girlfriend in Montreal is twenty two. No, no, my girlfriend. daughter's twenty two. What? <laughs> Wait, does she do jujitsu? <laughs> nah, nah, she don't do jujitsu. She don't do jujitsu. What kind of stuff she likes? Um, you know, she goes to the gym. You know, she she just have like a. Um, she uh she works for the government out there in Canada. Oh, I like the gym. I like the government. <laughs> Do not let him no. not go date your daughter. <laughs> no way. Are you kidding me? What could be better than that? Hanato, you older than me. You old god are you? <laughs> but I'm I'm aged like a fine Hennessy. Like I was saying, <laughs> look at that one. You cannot, you cannot. But, hey, 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 there but you, you go. There but you, go but right you know there. who's you know who's younger than everybody in this motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> oh he comes right in flexing. Come hey, in. Yes. Hot. Come on. Hey, it's Anthony Smith, everybody. <laughs> look at that hail had... sunshine over there. Oh, God. I know it. Boy, it look like you in front of a damn uh a damn uh, what street light or something? You bright yeah, as hell, he, man! Like a car light I'm, in front. I'm of in my head. I'm in my bedroom, so it's like super dark. So I got this fancy light right here, and I don't figure out how to turn the oh, motherfucker down. Well, He's plus, trying to yeah, hop it in. He's not light skinned enough. He has to hop it in. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, do you, you do like how many different I'm shows now? Like me? serious, and then ESPN, and then this and that. Well, I'm trying not to get punched in the face for the rest of my life. That's what I'm trying not to do. So I'm trying to, I'm trying You're to. You're not doing a good job of that. I'm not, <laughs> man. I'm, and I'm not pretty enough to do anything else. So I gotta well, do this. I just keep talking. Look, listen. Look, you, you, you. There's a lot of women out there who is interested. I mean, no disrespect to your wifey, but <laughs> there's a quite a you few women out there. Just their who, fourth child. Who would take that one? Yeah, cut out your fourth child. Oh, Crazy, boy. right? Hey, so how's this? Uh, how's this whole live stream thing work? Where's all the people? Let me ask you. Over see, here. Wait, are you on your iPhone? Where are they at? I can't see them. Are you on oh, your iPhone? On... No, I'm on my. So we're on YouTube. You're, we're on my YouTube channel, and you should be able to see everybody. It's like pristine choppers. <laughs> here, well, look those choppers. <laughs> okay. Um, here's my question, you guys. No joke. I've put my fucking volume up to like the the chop of the thing here. I yeah. can barely fucking hear you guys. What's going on here? I hate I this shit. I hear everyone fine. What I about hear you, everybody great. That's yeah. the problem. I don't hear no... I can barely hear you fucking guys. And then also on top of that, I can't see the goddamn comment unless I switch off to the... Press the icon that says chat. Well, maybe if you could have gotten on this on your computer instead of on I your... I can't get it on there because it wants you to... You know, you know, what, you, okay? you know what you need, though? You know what I know, you but need? that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, but I need prefer Safari. So I didn't set it up for that. I know, but Safari only works up for a, for a iOS phone. Safari is a black girl's name, too. <laughs> <laughs> Safari. Wait, hold on. Hey, did, we, did we figure out who was shot on Anthony's show earlier today? Yeah. Anthony's hey, show. I, you got I tried a show? To... I tried to convince Rashad to tell us who he was going to fight because you know Wait. he knows. No, I, I, don't, I, I, pro I, promise you, I don't. I promise you, I don't know yet. I promise you, I don't know yet. Really? I don't know yet. No. You got anyone in mind? Who yes. do you want to fight? I don't care. No, you don't care. No. Like, I mean, there's always people I want to fight. Like, I see somebody, I'm like, man, I'd like to fight that guy. There's no one like that at all. Uh, no. Nope. I mean, I seen Logan Paul earlier today. I seen yeah. him on the, the award show. You gotta fight that guy. I seen Kobe Covington there too. Oh really? Hey, yeah. give me the Kobe sneak on cool. Kobe. Yeah, what's Kobe, the deal? Kobe, Kobe was cool. Yo, Kobe was mad cool, man. Kobe was super cool, man. Super you cool. Kind of you guys Hold have on. another kind of relationship? I'm gonna other try than something. That? You guys sit chat, talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Okay. <laughs> try to come up with something to talk about when I'm well, not we'll, here. We'll, we'll struggle. Do we got do we got a work, uh, relationship outside of that? I mean, yeah, I, I've, do you, like do you know him from, from just yeah. training in Florida? Yeah, I mean, I see him around whenever we see each other, we talk and stuff like that. But I mean, you know, you know, 
like with everything that happened with him and Kamaru, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I wasn't sure like how it was gonna be, but I right. mean, he was he was cool, man. He's always he's always been, you know, cool and respectful and he was cool when I seen him today. Well, people Real maybe cool. don't realize how tight you and Kamaru are. I mean, like you basically mentored mm. Kamaru for a number of years, right? Yeah, yeah. He used to live in his uh, room right over here. <laughs> <laughs> he used to live in his room right over here for a while. Damn, like five, four, like five years or so, four or five years. Right. That's why. Yeah, yeah. I always, I always see those. Uh, like I've seen a couple fan videos of, of Colby where like one of them he's not quite sure that the camera's even running the other one you can tell he knows but he's giving this young kid like some real crazy cool advice and and just seems like a real straight shooter and then the audio came out after the the last fight with him and Camaro yeah and it's and he's just real cool inside the octagon and and I, I think it's cool when the curtain gets pulled back like that when they don't really realize it's happening you know it, it's one thing for like you know Chael's whole stick and then afterwards, he was like, nah, I was just trying to sell pay-per-views. You're like, damn, that kind of kills it for me. But yeah. Kobe's like still trying to keep it, keep the gimmick. But, you know, sometimes someone pulls the curtain back. It's kind of cool to see that. Wait, what well, you said about Chael's stick? Cut on you. <laughs> shtick. Oh, shtick. Oh, okay. I <laughs> yeah, thought you I mean, were talking about, like, I saw that you guys, you remember that movie Fear? Yeah. Uh, uh, with uh, Marky Mark, where he's Mark, like yes. dating that chick, and then he's become like a nightmare. He's stalking her, and he's right, trying right. to kill the family. Yeah, and then he remember he's like confront uh, the guy from CSI uh, and Manhunt, uh, Will Peterson or whatever. Yeah, and he's like, he's like, if you was taking care of stuff in the bedroom, your wife wouldn't be all over my stick. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> Yo, I wonder how many movie lines. Hanachi got going on. I was just line. gonna like, say, you really have a, a recall. How many movie lines that he got, like just just chilling, just. In, well, in, you guys seen a lot of movie too, you know. I just, uh, yeah, I, I just I've seen a lot that. of movies. I love movies, but I can't break down like every single scene. Like you, you can break down every single of of, of like seven hundred thousand movies, and it's like, dude, how do you do? How do you do? You that? know how why? Many, how many times you sit and watch these movies in order? For that, that to that's what also make me a. This is the same thing that make me a. A great lover, I, I I know how to listen. I'm reading I'm reading I, these comments. Sorry. Oh god. I'm listening. Oh, these gosh. are hilarious. Well, oh, you god. can see. Yeah. What are I'm not. I'm. I should probably read them. Man, Mystic Black stays. He stays strong in these chats. I like that guy. <laughs> well, he's a he 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 know what what's up. He know where to find yeah. out uh, the best stuff. Being the light um, down line heart, it should swivel. No, it's like a lamp. It's not like a light light. I like it's literally just a light on my desk. I'm sorry. I'm it, so, you know, I'm you know, so it looked like it looked right like now. one of those looked like one of those lamps without the shade on it. That's what it looked like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like in a <laughs> fucked up situation. Just, just like in a fucked up, like ball, in a drug deal. Yeah. Ball, get the right. back on. <laughs> yeah, like, like what are you doing here? Um, um, put put like some filter on that one. <laughs> look, look, I got a Christmas tree in the back. You see this? Look at this. Do me a favor, put some yeah, happy paper. Put a little decorating. I started put some happy paper over the fucking over the light bulb. Do something. <laughs> hey, hey, do you guys decorate like your houses, like the outside? Of course. My my thing is like a winter wonderland. Now outside, of course can... not. I do the oh, opposite. No. I don't want the kids. <laughs> if I have you some stuff with Santa Claus or any of that bullshit, the chances of one of my kids <laughs> to happen by that shit. <laughs> So I got to make like Krampus. I'm having <laughs> things with that tongue hang out like that and the horn okay. and From all that on, stuff. Scrooge McDuck. That's my all shit look like a Halloween house now. It's oh all kids go stay away from that one. Yeah. That's funny. You do the outside hey. of your house, Rashad? Nah, I don't really decorate, man. Maybe put a maybe put a wreath out or something like that. He That's put Kwanzaa. It. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> man, my... Anthony, I'm guessing you do decorate? Uh... Sorta, sorta. He I, do the bare minimum. God, no, I, you. No, I pay someone to do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you put lights yeah. on the house, right? Oh yeah, it's the we're not we don't got the classy white ones either. Like the white icicles and shit. No way. We're we're white trash, multicolored. Just yeah, that's fine. Looks like Christmas lights threw up on my house. It's glorious. See, I <laughs> well, like, hey, I that, I, we I like that. Everybody like that kind of stuff. Are you competitive with your neighbors? super competitive with the neighbors yeah. it's oh for him you know, like you know, it like, a, like a, i didn't have like a super fun wild crazy childhood like i had everything i needed but like we didn't do like a whole lot of fun shit so i i think i'm just living a lot of this shit with my kids too like nice. i'm just living my childhood again through my kids so michael jackson was doing that 
<laughs> oh man. It wasn't Johnny a chat. He have a second childhood for. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm I want us to play a round of no wrong answers here where I'm going to I'm going to ask some uh some random questions here because I feel like a lot of the time like people know you uh but they don't know you. You know? Wait, I mean? before before you ask your first question, um yeah. you know you um um you know Anthony Smith was talking about his tradition and stuff maybe um, you know, Hashad can tell us about his uh, Kwanzaa. You know, do you guys have all your kids like heed like poems of strong black stuff like Nkute. Today we celebrate uh strength and pride for her and shante. We do the governess or whatever. You nah, do I that mean, stuff? listen, listen, listen. I don't celebrate Kwanzaa, but I do I do like you know some of the things that it stands okay. for. I think you know, I think it's, it's got Pretty do, good principle, but I do mean, you chew a licorice hoot while you do the where you open the presents and shit you like did that? You used to have a licorice fruit, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did <laughs> or a I did, cherry I did. stick or something, <laughs> yeah, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, the chew sticks like that, the and then he wear like a knit cap. You get your teeth white, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he also hid the poems like uh, like you a know, poet. like yeah, like the last poet and stuff like that. He's <laughs> he's he does stuff like. Oh. And then, and then, and then, where did Anthony and go? He couldn't take it. Uncle this was th that was like a, a garlic for a vampire for like he's too light uh, <laughs> to hear about Kwanzaa shit like that. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> when he heard about that, that that stuff, the chew sticks and the kente cloth, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> what it burned it burned his skin like a like a <laughs> like a fucking um a crucifix. <laughs> That's a funny ass shit, man. That's funny. He's too light, God, are you? Okay, okay. So my first question, and I know I'm going to hold it up, uh, but you can, and it's backwards, but whatever. But it says, um, were you a good student, a class clown, Oof. or a troublemaker? Mm. Which one? Okay, um, so Rashad, you go first. Class clown, good student, or troublemaker? I was a class clown, definitely not a good student, and a little <laughs> bit of a troublemaker. You know, but I, I was, I mean, I, I went to a school that was majority white, so... I had no choice. I mean, you know, I was either, I was either gonna be uh, picked on, or I had to find a way to, you know, stand out and, and hold my own ground. That's the thing about it. If you get on the offensive, then that way you never have to be on the defensive. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and then white women, Kolkata, <laughs> can enjoy that ones. You you just dabble in that. I know. <laughs> Well, I wish I could say that I was better than you, uh, you know, Hashaji, but I was very much the same. You know, I I was cleaning up my closet and I found a box that, you know, a lot of time you move different places and a lot of shit don't make it, you know. But there's a certain box that I have that have some of the artifacts that have been since I was like a little, little, little child. Like the kind of thing that have my old school immunization hacker, my old shit, like, you know, just, I'm talking about birth certificate, you know, like the old, 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 old shit, right. you know? And I was going through that, seeing if there's shit I could get hit of, like, ah, do I need this? Do I need this? And I found report cards from when I was like five years old to up until whenever. And the, 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 the recurring theme was he's smart, but he don't apply himself and yep. he's disrupt others or whatever. So <laughs> it was always the same thing. Like I'm not doing my work and I'm fucking with, I, I'm, 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 I'm bringing other people into my shit. <laughs> and it was from when I'm 5 -y up to high school is the same. It, every teacher in their own way saying the same fucking shit. And I was like, oh, God, are you? I think somehow, <laughs> if only they knew there was a living to be made in that one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now they can suck my dick, some of those teachers. <laughs> Probably some of those is, is, ch is six feet deep, boy. but I'm still here. All right. Mm, All right. Well, cool. Well, Anthony, what about you? Yeah, yeah, I have a, a lot of the same. Um, I can't, you know, I grew up in, you know, small town Nebraska, so magically, if you're an athlete, all those failing grades, grades like come time the season comes around, those yeah. magically are passing. That's just yeah. that's just how small town sports work. Um, right. But yeah, I, I didn't show up a lot. You know, I was kind of I just showed. Sometimes I'd go to school and just leave like halfway through the day. <laughs> oh, I, just, I my god, I did I the same leave. shit. I, like I just be like, I'm fucking out of here. And yeah, I just, you go to home home, 
so that they don't call you parents and then you fucking peace the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. I, I, that was kind of, I, I tell those stories a lot, but um, I just was going through a tough time in high school and, and I just didn't care. So I just did, I went when I wanted to. And if I didn't want to, I didn't go. And then honestly, the thing that saved me, I went to alternative school. Uh, oh, like you mean year. alternative lifestyle? Like, uh, uh, <laughs> A homosexual school? <laughs> no, no for, like, like when everybody's in, the, like when everybody's in the same grade type of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. everything's on computers, so it's like it's everyone like well, there's different grades, but it's it's in a completely different building, separate from the, the actual yeah. high school. Oh, they called that. Um, you know, uh, Carlos Cundit went to the same school. It's called the He Chartered School. It's called for <laughs> special kids. No, it, it's it's huh? we got a school. We got a school like that in, in, in Western New York. It's called Bosies. Mm -hmm. It's called both seas. Both yeah, both seas. Yeah, Bo-sies. sometimes the school system, like the, the way the system is, doesn't work for everybody. And it just, yeah, no, it I yeah that's why they put people like you in that thing. So they have the regular school, and then in the back, they have trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the, <laughs> yeah, the, that's where yeah, they put you. They, you know what? They didn't told you, my brother, champ, they lied to you. That's a special <laughs> people school. <laughs> I'm not well, playing. A lot, a lot of public no, schools no. have their alternative ask, schools. Ask so anybody. Like that. that wasn't an alternative school. That was a school for the people who's who is mildly he charted. <laughs> I'm you think I'm kidding, but I'm si- ask anybody in the chat home. Listen, I'm sure that that's the case in some places, but <laughs> there is alternative, okay. alternative schools. Like, like my wife's brother went to an alternative school too. Like some people don't play <laughs> in those, bo- those public school right. boxes. So it was cool. Like I had a certain amount of stuff I had to get done in one day. I didn't have to be there until like ten thirty in the morning. What about yeah. everybody? But everybody has a certain amount of shit that they gotta do. <laughs> yeah, but once it was done, you could leave. But what about like I had a leave. certain yeah, amount? Yeah, like if I got it, if I got there at ten thirty and I was done by eleven thirty, like I just rolled out. They let us out, like people were having yeah. cigarette smoke breaks outside and shit because you know? they knew there was no hope for you. It was well, dope. Good. They just weren't trying to get us through school. That was wow, it. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, that's and you could play all the sports though. Yeah, yeah, you still got to play all the same sports with the rest. That's of the how game. they knew. They're like this fucking guy. They're like he can. They like but don't God, give him. Um, him to show up until the school starts at ten thirty. Yeah. Hey, That's so hilarious. they're like no, no, um, no, no. What's that? Holding coffee? What's that? No catcher in the high for this That's guy. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, nah, uh, straight up super fudge for this guy, just like Eric Anders. This n- this right. nigga need to hit super fudge. <laughs> He need to do coloring books. Get this dude on the bat in the football field for fuck's sake. To, uh, to absolutely nobody's surprise, uh, I was a really good student. And um, Karen, no, Karen, you don't say. Karen, no one was, was the straight you, really? you was do Dungeon and Dragon. Pretty much. No, I wasn't a Dungeons and Dragons nerd. Yes, you did. You did no, a Dungeon and Dragon. No, I you didn't. Karen, you listen. did a Star Trek. You, you did Doctor Who. Star Trek. No, when to, when I was in high school, I played all varsity sports. All three sports. I played three varsity sports. You played varsity chess. All four varsity years. badminton. Soccer, basketball, and baseball. Well, they made me switch to softball. Come on. But so Stop lying. I had. 10 varsity letters when I graduated and a bunch of straight A's. Mm, and no days. Purposely flex on us. Zero. This is Stel- my that, zero that days. Is flex. KB, Absolutely KB, no KB, KB, why are you stunting on us like that, man? Why are you stunting on us I had like no that? dates. I wish I had dates. I had no dates. I would have gave you a date. I would have let you to do my homework and then I and then I let you to made love to me for her. I had no dates. I didn't have any love. Make I had no no love in high school. I would have made love to you in the eighth grade, between eighth grade and senior year, and then that's it. I, I'm out. All right. Anyway, you can do all my homework, huh? Next question, and I have a feeling I'm going to start with Anthony on this one. Oh my God. Does your does your car have a name? And Anthony, for you, it could be your car or your. Dune buggy road like off is, road white trash thing whatever is that what is it? They're called well they're called razors but uh, so I have like a uh, my regular truck like my everyday driver surprise right. I surprise I drive a truck right yeah um, surprise surprise Mister Nebraska but I have like a travel car that I take back and forth to Denver um, and then when it's in De- when I'm in Denver I just leave it there and I fly back and forth so it stays in Denver most of the time and that's what it's a uh, Ford Explorer okay. So, I thought you would be one of those Ford F one fifth. No, my my normal truck is uh it's like a new Dodge Ram twenty five. Oh, Dodge Ham, yeah, like the big, yeah, yeah. that, that yeah. yeah, yeah. It screams. What? I got a little wiener. You said you Dodge. don't have a little wiener. Don't say that, my that's brother. What, that's what Dodge my truck Ham. says, though. If you see me roll down the road, that's the first thing people are gonna think. Well, 
But anyways, yes, my car has a name. That... It's named it Carl. It... Carl. 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 Carl was the salesman who sold me the car, and what? the kids were with us, so they just decided to name the car Carl. I like that because the kids was involved. I think that that's a good you choice. Plus, it's a car, and so Carl. So it's like Carl, like well, Carl one of those Supermans like dad or whatever. Carl, yeah, that's kind of funny. So like the, the Superman. They got the girl from... names though, because they give they give birth to people, right? They, they so why do you, why do guys give them girls names? Because I don't know. I never knew that. That's some things. sailor shit. Why they is carry, that? Because they carry things. Mixed. They carry huh. things and and they and they and they give it birth. See, that's part of his black uh, consciousness shit. He he's on some old yeah because they the earth. You know what I'm saying, my brother, <laughs> the seed. You know what I'm you dig? Um, yeah, I you know I had one. My first car was an Altima, and I was upset because that's the only one I could afford, and it was a stick shift or whatever. Yeah, and but the color was like. It looked like purple, kind of, and it wasn't my fair. I'm not a purple kind of guy, and I was kind of like, ah, God, I, how can I spin this one, you know? And in the manual, the fucking name of the color was Black Cherry, so I just, I just called it Black Cherry, and then the females was like, oh God, I, and I was like, yeah, and I played that one. What was that song when I had the car? We played that one. Was, what the fuck is that guy's name? That HMB singer. You know that song that was like, you know, I can't, there's no way, no way I'm going to do it. I, Donnell, Donnell Jones, uh, 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 Donnell. Donnell Jones. I don't Jones. know what you're talking about. You know, like, um, you know what's up? You remember that? Me and my people be rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the very first what's day up, of summer. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was playing that. I thought I was doing big stuff in there with the Black Cherry. And it was just I don't a know that one. Well, listen, I used to. You don't my, know that my current car does not have a name. I drive a little Mini Cooper Countryman, uh, with it's oh, red, it's white, white racing stripes, but uh, it doesn't have a name. But I used to have a a big. Uh, I used to take make my car have a Star Trek names. I mean Star Wars names. And you of had course to, you did. You had, I know I was a nerd, and you had to pick a, a character name when you got in. Uh, and so like, and I would drive, and I got a bigger. So it was the Lance Feeder, but then I got a bigger car, and it was a Millennium Wait. Falcon. And like, yeah. Wait, Karen, are you telling me you wasn't getting laid from that? <laughs> I know. I wonder why. Well, you was like, was hey, thing before thing you thing get in, hold on, thing. Buster Brown. Come in here and give me one of these names. Which, if you was one of the Galactic Federation. <laughs> That's a dork. You're yeah. 100% right. In hindsight, Hinato, it's a much clearer picture now as to why I had no action at all. <laughs> Listen, uh, did you see the, 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 the post that I did with, with Star Wars recently? <laughs> no. Would you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you're going to enjoy that one because they have a salacious crumb. <laughs> and he's look at Jabba's chair and he go like this. <laughs> like that. You understand? But in that, in that one, it was a metaphor for you looking at my, my Johnson. So when you first see my Johnson, you're going to be like a salacious crumb and you're going to go like this. Ah, ah, I don't, ah. I'm not planning on a first time though. Oh. Well, you know what? Uh, what what's that quote? Uh, the best laid plan of fools and so and so whatever. I can't remember, but something like that. Okay, next question. Hey, did Rashad answer? Did I miss you? That? Did Bungie. Rashad have a name? Did Rashad, uh, did Rashad answer? What was your car's name? What? Oh, I don't. I didn't have a name for my car. Uh, he didn't we, have a car. Hey, hey, oh, car. Take, I, I like <laughs> he had a bus pass. <laughs> bus. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have a name. Hey, Karen. Uh, he had a Volkswagen like, habit. I like to play this I, game I, and try I to guess what cars, people drive. Uh, since, uh, since, <laughs> since college, I had a car. I named a car back what in college. Was I had it. Wait, name was Bertha. Bertha. Okay, wait. Let's guess what kind of car. Yeah. Don't tell me. Hold on. So tell us that the 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 year. The years that you drove Bertha, and we're going to guess what kind of car that was. <laughs> it was in college. It was in college until I was about uh, maybe maybe 20. No, but the years, the years. Oh, the years. It was, uh, what, 19, nope, 2000 to 2003. And it was Bertha. Bertha. What is Bertha? Was it of that the decade that you was living in? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. We shot it sideways. Damn, that <laughs> fucked you. That question fucked you the fuck up. What do you think Rashad drives? When I right said now. that question, he went like this. He I went, did, ah. I did, I did and he went, drives a black Escalade. In college? No. Yeah, Fuck no. In college? No. no. Right now. Right now. Oh, yeah. well, now maybe I, now. Yeah, that makes sense. Or like a, or a Suburban. W sedan. Yeah. Or a like Suburban a, or a, a it Tesla, it's a Tesla station right. wagon. Whatever it is, it's Something black. goes on mushroom power. What the fuck happened to this guy? Is he there? Sugar. There Young blood. The mushrooms is kicking in now. The, you're supposed to microdosing. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wow. Right. You know what? He, did, know. he didn't want to talk about the car. He was embarrassed. I think he could I think he could come back. You know what? I think he's embarrassed because he was front like he had a Bentley and the car he's drive is that one. Was that one that looked like a fake Bentley? What's oh, that kind of Chrysler? Like yeah. Like, like, That's the problem. And he don't want to own up to that. Well. All right, what was that next question? Well, so the I next question like is, have you or would you ever bungee jump? Oh, that's, that is so uh, funny. So I got I just got to tell this story. Um, so me and my wife have been together for over 11 years, right? Yeah. I've only been married. Oh, wow. only, only been married for, how long have we been married? How long have we been married? Wait, let's see your wifey. Like two years. She's, no, Wait. she's, feeding, the, she's feeding the baby. That's now I even more want to see the wife. Oh, and not to give her some space. Did she uh, do the natural uh, feedings? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what? We encourage that on this program. <laughs> We're not squeamish from that. And you know what the thing is? We want to show the people that oh, by gummy privacy, by gummy, that is gonna be if a woman wants to 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 feed that baby, Before the natural. Wipe them out. You have to out. show that one. Get them out. Anyways, oh, God, oh, yeah. so for our for our one year wedding anniversary, I damn, put some know. lights on that brother. Uh -oh. <laughs> he looked like you know who he looked like right now for a second. You know who I thought it was? I thought it was Booker T from Harlem. Heat. <laughs> God, oh, yeah. Well, say so I thought you was about to come after Hulk Hogan. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, put some lights on this brother. Rashad, the question was, have you or would you ever bungee jump? And Anthony was just starting to tell a story about it. Oh, okay, yeah, tell oh. me. Anthony. So we've been together for a long time, but we've only been married for a couple He's years. He's talking about now. he and his wife, yeah. Yeah, so we've only been married for a couple of years. So I thought for our one-year wedding, wedding anniversary, I'd come up with this great idea and make it super memorable. She's not like a big risk taker. She's not a adrenaline junkie. She doesn't like heights. I don't know where I thought this was going to go really well, but I was like, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to book this trip to Kansas city. We're I'm going to get some friends. We're going to you do it. Bungee jumping in Kansas city. Yeah. We're going to go, we're going to go up on a plane. We're going to jump out of it. Oh, skydive. It was actually skydive. Oh, well that's a whole next level. No. Well, well it leads. She said bungee. bungee. No, I know it leads into the bungee jumping thing. So I booked this, I booked the entire trip. Hell and then no. she, she finds out about it because I'm terrible at keeping a secret. And she lost her shit. So I was like, well, we'll just check down and we'll do bungee jumping. No. Did not fly at all. That's almost worse. Lost her goddamn mind. She was so pissed at me. Like, it almost ruined our whole anniversary because she was like, you are not taking me up in a goddamn plane and jumping out of it. And I'm not strapping a rope onto my legs and jumping. No. Nope. <laughs> not happening. I so, totally respect that, Michaela. Now I, now I don't have anyone to go bungee jumping with. Listen, let me tell you something about I never did the bungee. But if I'm if I'm honest, if I think about the bungee, I, I even though it's a lower um, height, I think that I, for some reason I feel like skydiving is safer than that. I I, I feel I had to I had to do that one because you're gonna have the instructor. Time to say goodbye. But you're gonna have the instructor, and at least they're gonna you know that they don't want to die, so they're gonna be like, yo, I I, I you know what I'm saying? It, fuck. The bungee, I don't They'll know make about sure that. Their parachute is packed well, but yours is just a question. No, because you you're holding on. You're gonna. They don't let you do uh, solo jumps to begin with, even if you want to. You got to do a tandem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right, so Rashad, have you ever bungee jumped? No, I I don't want to either. That's something that I've seen too many videos of shit going wrong. Yeah, the, it's too up, long. Too the whole yeah, it's. Fuck and, that. And it's, and it's like for what? You know what I'm saying? Like, if I want to scare the shit out of myself, I don't need to jump out of no jump off no something tall. There's a lot of ways to do that. They'll just do a poetry heating. 
<laughs> nah, just smoke, just smoke that toad. That'll scare the that'll scare the shit out of you. Right? Yeah, it sure will, poor huh? But you you want it, you do with organic hope. You want to do it with organic African hemp. Yeah. And then yeah. you'll probably do it. No, nah, I ain't doing that at all, bro. I'm not oh, doing God that shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I agree with you. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't jump out of a plane. I would, you know, because I feel like that's the, like, yeah, why choose to die? Like, I, I don't, you know, that seems like you're really asking for something bad to happen. And I think with the with the bungee jumping, it's just probably because I wouldn't tell them how much I really weigh. <laughs> oh, then, so you have a stuff well, about that? <laughs> I'd be like, oh my god, I'm just like a hundred and like seventeen or twenty. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, people want to see them cakes weighing a lot more. Um, I you know told, what? I told you I did. I, I don't want to. I did a video. I shot it from the side because I was like, you know what? Hanato said I should. I should shoot a video from the side. Let me look and see what that looks like. I no, no. Let me choose. You know what? I need to. Um, oh, God. <laughs> and you don't like that. Oh. He said, "You don't like that." What's wrong with that, KB? KB, what's wrong with that? Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, what is wrong with that? Let let let, let me to get into your fucking mindset. <laughs> yeah. what, what is wrong with what that? What is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? There was just a little extra in the back. There's just yeah, but uh, that's that's what you know what that okay. That's what people want. They want yeah, they KB. Want let me to exp ahead, explain to ahead, you and me. all women out there. That would be like a woman with big ass titties. Nah. Yeah, we listen. This would be the equivalent of a jump roper, though. Yeah, we're not concerned about that. You could be hopping off of a. I don't care what you're doing. No, but listen, I'm good. I start doing like the crosses and everything. That's not what we're fucking paying attention to. You could I have no jump hope, and you you could just be hopping up and down. You could be stomping out hoaches in your apartment. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> so listen, here's the here's the issue. You got to remember when you're trying to downplay your ass and wish that it was smaller and all that kind of stuff is the same way when we hear a woman go like this. Oh, these awful double D's. They're making my back hard. Oh, who needs them? We do. <laughs> uh, we we need them. <laughs> uh, we do, he said. Yeah, uh, that's for us, Scott. Oh, and all God. the other shit that you guys like. Let me try to explain Look, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna let you in on some game, some free game, okay? And this yeah. is for all you ladies and all that kind of stuff, okay? Yeah. And you're heterosexual, so you're liking men, yeah? Oh, I, yes, very much. So. Okay, so it would be different maybe if we're talking about something else, but you're liking men, okay? All the shit that you're talking about getting hit of is the shit that we like, okay? <laughs> okay. And all the shit that you guys like, like the females like. Right. Like fashion shit, it's all the shit that strap down the stuff or high waisted shit that make your ass look like a long back and all this weird shit. And you know who makes the fashion? All that shit that women and gay men who don't want to fuck you. <laughs> the men who want to fuck you is not making you fashion. So you walking around impressing <laughs> other women and gay men. And you do the I'm opposite. I'm wearing high waisted jeans right now. Yeah, like, oh my gosh. I, I, like, they, I'm that's like, I'm like, I'm That's the most factual shit I've listened to in a long time. Damn, not it, 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 it was an epiphany that I had one time. I was like, why oh, they like yeah. this shit? I'm like, who is setting the standard of what, who is you're it coming so the, from the chop to? And you're like, it's fem females and gay men. And there's nothing wrong with females and gay men. But the problem is, for the most part, those people don't want to fuck you. So they're not sexualizing you. They're making, it's about day clothes and day clothes being arch. The guys who want to fuck you is about you, not the fucking clothes. You understand? And so I don't give a fuck about all that other bullshit. I want to look at your cakes, Pohan. <laughs> and the more you worried about wearing the more material, fuck the material. I want the more cakes. You want more material, less cakes. I want less material, more cake. <laughs> I, oh I, do, do you know that. Knowledge in he there. said that he dropped some mind wine for you, KB. I you understand? Know, I mean, yeah, he, he, yeah, no, he, he, he's been preaching. Church. Okay, so 
so uh this one is there is a um it said what is your favorite is there a current favorite show are you guys binging anything or like uh are you are you watching anything are you catching up on anything that you should have watched a long time ago and never did what's your current favorite show um, I got into that that Dune show was pretty good. That was a pretty good series. You Dune, the Dune, movie. It's Dune, a movie. Dune, huh? You were smoking so much fucking uh, Chiba, you series? don't realize it's a goddamn movie. Yeah, I saw the movie. What's this? It's, it's not. It's not a movie. That's a part one. There's gonna be more parts to it. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's yeah, a movie yeah. though. It's just like Harry Potter or something. They're coming out with yeah, another. But, I mean. It's gonna be like two years was, before yeah. the next one. It's not like it's coming out next week, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not gonna be two years before it come out again. Uh, okay. It was but good it, though. I I liked it too. No way, no it, way. That shit was great. That shit, that you, shit, hey, that you, shit was good. Let me just tell you something. One of the first guys that I trained in jujitsu with, um uh who was one of um Marcel, I think he was Marcelo Garcia's first black belt, was in that movie. You know the black dude, the African dude who is um who has challenged him to a knife fight in the desert? Mm -hmm. That dude is a Marcelo Garcia black belt. His name is Baba Chunde, and he's uh, he's he's I, I believe he's the he's Marcelo Garcia's. For if you look at the earliest Marcelo Garcia videos, like instructionals, he was always his uke or whatever his assistant. Mm. And that guy has been an actor for years and years, and he's finally getting his due. An African brother, por you and a black belt. Nice, nice. Yeah. Anthony, you watching anything? Yeah, you know, my typical same shit. I, I, I'm always afraid that someone's gonna, I don't know, like something's gonna happen to me. I'm gonna like, I don't know, be in the hospital, and for some reason they're gonna start going through like my Netflix series and like, <laughs> shit that I watch. Earth history. People are gonna think. Degenerate. People are gonna think that I'm a serial killer. You gonna you watch Hiverdale? It's forensic files and it's Criminal Minds and. The first 48. Oh, the first 48? Listen to me. I can't watch that. I'm like a, a, a crack addict for that. I can't watch that because if I watch one, I'm going to watch 10. <laughs> it, I don't know what it is about that show. You cannot stop years, watching yeah. it. Yeah, if yeah. I start to see it, I go, go away. If I have something to do, I can't because it's going to fuck my life up. Right. That's really that's all I watch. Oh, Why? Like, the first 48 might be the best show in television. The first might 48. Be that and cops. The nah, cops ain't cops ain't shit compared to the first. They deal with d domestic bullshit like a dude with his shirt off. I, the the the, the, the stuff going shit. on the first 48, huh? That's some of the best shit in the world. Like the old Yeah, it's comedy. They got the old like Chevy Caprices and they roll up and it's just some Yeah, but if you can watch that trash lady rolls out with a bloody nose talking about she just beat her husband up, like dude, True, but there's better stuff like up. go watch if you like that, go watch Lawman with fucking Steven Segal. <laughs> so you get to see him doing yes, a fake cape. Phoenix? No, his shit was in uh New Orleans and he oh, had a New fake Orleans, right. Cajun yeah. accent and he's all, "What's up, mama?" Oh shit! What y'all doing down here, yeah, or whatever? Like hit, 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 cops. hit, yeah, for yeah. It, it, that's the heel shit. But the first forty-eight <laughs> is like, uh, it's the most delicious. You know what I love about that show is the cops look like the people on the office or something like that. It, it, they look like how heel fucking cops look like uh, a detective look. They yeah, do not look yeah, glamorous. Yeah. 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 They look like people who work at the fucking post office. They look like, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it, there's a certain reality to it that's not glamorous. That is just like the meat and potatoes of like human beings. And, and they're not getting enough sleep. And they're wearing their cheap men's warehouse suits, totally. you know? And but what, boy, did, that, did, and, and when they lot, finally. Did a lot of those uh, cases get messed up and thrown out because of the fact, because of that show? No, you're listening to to these brothers on on your your, no, your underground no, black no, stuff. So they're like, no, young blood. See, <laughs> you see, the particular thing is the so called Native American, the so called American Negro. Dude, what, is this, what is he talking about, man? I'm, that show had a lot of cases get thrown out because what was revealed on that show. You're oh, talking about okay, to catch yeah, a exactly, predator. Yeah. 
That's you're talking true. about to catch a predator because he go like this. No. Hey, you want to have no, some? No, no, you want to no, have no, some no. Mike Todd lemonade? It's the first forty-eight. It's the first forty-eight. Yeah. Oh, then okay. they see different facts and different things get revealed or whatever, right? Yeah. You know, Rashad yeah. came into my hotel room one time when we were working. And he was like, "Dude, why do you always got this shit on? It's so negative." <laughs> the <And> news. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's because the news, bro. Watching, you want to know why? The news or the first. That's the news or the first 48. And I, I don't know why that's it's just like on in the background all the time. But yeah. let me tell you something about why Hashad feel that way. Because <laughs> see, Hashad smoke weed, yeah. <laughs> and you yeah. don't. Okay. I, sm I smoked weed with Rashad one time. Yeah. Vegas, okay. I was, I was told Fair enough. Out. But on the regular, so when you watch when you smoke a weed, you cannot watch shit like that. Unless you're fucking crazy, unless you really want to like uh do some you know going to to a, a negative or crazy trip or something like that but you you, you don't want to watch the first 48 and be high it, it's like uh you, you're too sensitive to what's going on there so he he probably walked into your home or high and he want to watch like you know uh um half baked or something like that and you're watching the first 48 and he's like, oh, God, are you? what the fuck are you watching this shit? Hey, so I mean, what are, you, what are you watching right Hinato? Did we talk about last? I, I think I gave you a boring answer last time where it's like I watched um, a lot of because Seinfeld just come out on, on that oh, shit. Right. And I never used to watch a lot of Seinfeld back when it was on. I took for granted. And then now I'm I don't know. I find myself just putting it on the background. But I'm doing a lot of like painting at my I, I, I'm fixing up my house. You know, I, I told you. You're still working on that. I'm working on that because there's so much shit that for years and years, you know, little shit that bother you, like just little stuff, even the knobs and little dumb shit that you just like, ah, whatever. And for some reason, I got it in my mind. I'm like, fuck this. I'm going to make, I'm going to, everything that I've been putting off, I'm just doing all of that shits now. So your whole house, um, you're redoing that. Yeah. Like I'm, he painting all the homes. I'm, you know, fucking fixing up. Childs, all that kind of shit that 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 I can do, you know, shit that don't Sounds involve like you're a chainsaw. Nesting. Are you are you getting ready to settle down? I think he's getting ready for somebody. Somebody. Yeah. I, no, I'm I'm getting uh -huh. ready for Freak Nick. Um, we, we're gonna I think bring. You're ready to settle down. Settle down. So. What are you? I hear, I'm gonna I hear, settle. I hear love. I, I think there's somebody special in this life. You gotta I be out so your. <laughs> you out your goddamn mind. You got your goddamn mind. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got somebody your special. Mind. No, nah, no, nah, there's no one special. I, you know, no, there is somebody special. You know who that one is? Just take a wild guess. Who you? You. No more home, no poor. <laughs> no more home. One, there's only home for one special person hey, in this who, relationship. Uncle Nas, who hurt you, man? Who did this to your heart? Yeah, who did, right. Who, who did? Who did this to you? Like what? no one did this to me. You nah, know what's the somebody, problem? Some, some. I'll tell you what it is. Everyone did this, this to me. Here's what? the problem. I I'm woman, get bored. A woman had to do, woman had to now, do this to you. They didn't do nothing bad. I just get bored. I get bored with that ones. And then I start to resent that ones because I go, mm, I could be out doing whatever I want to be doing. So and you then, never met so you never met a girl. You was like, yo, you know what? I'm done. I don't need Oh, I'm like that in enough. the first three months with everybody. Or else I wouldn't have got, gotten to that one. <laughs> Every single one is the one. And then you go like this, uh, God, I, uh, I guess I was hung. <laughs> Didn't but you listen, say you had a girl for a little while during COVID, like at the first part of the? Yeah, I, I mean, I've had girl for six years before, but after a while, you go, oh God, are you? You, you know, know when you, you know look what, at the you know date, what? you know when you look at something in the back of your fridge and you go, oh, you go like this, ah, yeah, it's I'm, time I'm, to throw that one. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of concerned for you, man. I'm kind of concerned for you because you're. Oh, at don't that, be concerned. No, listen, listen. You're at that. You're at that stage where, like, you get so many girls, you have so many girls, and after yeah. a while, it's like. You lose you lose your sensitivity. You don't you don't mm. it doesn't it doesn't feel this it just it just you don't you don't you don't enjoy it the same. It's like eating the same thing over and over again, even though you're eating a variety, it's like after mm. a while, it's so So your it's, hypothesis it's is so my hypothesis is this is the point where you start doing weird shit. Like because you, mm, like, no, you, you know because no, you go, not no, really. because what happens what happens is it's like you go numb. You want to feel something again, like you mm. just you just want to feel something because you haven't felt anything in so long. You haven't felt anything that made your heart race. And you know what I feel? The weird. You know what I feel, my brother? I <laughs> feel the wind beneath my wings, <laughs> and that's what is the most important for myself. And you know what the thing is? It's like your hypothesis is like 
<laughs> hey, listen. Um, so so here, so I'm have beef and broccoli every night, so that keep me invigorated. You, you have beef and broccoli. You have a General Charles chicken. You have a scallion pancake. You have a wonton soup. You have all that stuff. It must be so boring. You're getting all that different ones. You can't just enjoy the beef and broccoli for seventy years. Well, one of us is making a lot of sense. No, and one of us no is one of us is kidding that, himself. Because the beef and broccoli cares hell. about you. That got me. Fuck got the me. beef and broccoli. I can't understand what you just said, man. You you just went on talking about nothing. Listen, you know, what, you know what's shim, happening. You know what's happening. Shim broccoli. You're trying not to face the facts that you're nesting right now, and yeah. that there's something potentially He's growing nesting. in your heart that may sound. These or nesting. or you, you know what our head lights more chalice. What you know the headlights motel is like the kind of motel oh, where right. you just pay by the hour. Like motel. Yeah, you know the kind oh, where yeah, they have yeah, a quarter yeah. you put in the bed shake or whatever. Yeah. Even that place every 30, 40 years got to put a coat of paint on the one and freshen up the stuff, put some air freshener or whatever. You know you gotta do what you gotta do, my brother. Well, Andy, um, you just moved now. Are you you gotta gonna build a better mouse trap. My place is like the Hoch motel. Okay. You check in. No, it's the opposite. You check in and then you get the fuck out of here, boy. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think you might yeah. have to leave. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. You, no, you no, were saying. I was saying, Anthony, I know you guys moved recently. So are you are you are you all settled? Is it all like uh, like is Christmas like fully are you decorated? Or is it like yeah? It's, well you talked whole, about decorations. Yeah, yeah. This whole new house thing has been a disaster. It's been a lot of fun, but it's it's been a lot of work. <laughs> you just wanna you just wanna make it your own, you know what I mean? So We've, right, <laughs> Jesus, you're right. We've, uh, I'm, I'm good. We've changed I'm good. almost the entire house. So, really, it's been a, yeah, it's been. At who is he quest? Do I? At who is he quest? Not mine. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> so beef and uh, you mean broccoli was told you to do that one. <laughs> Interest. That's how he freshing. Oh, but man. that's what no, happens, though. That's what happens. It's been not, fun. It's that been is fun. what happens. Mm-hmm. But not true. You won't, not 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 true. The kid, for huh? Yeah, I, right. You know what I'm like. You'll remember this from when you was a kid. You remember the gingerbread man, Carl? And, <laughs> and, and and it's not a coincidence that I look like I was carved out of one single block of gingerbread. But I'm not. I'm like the gingerbread man. That older uh, couple was make him. And they thought that they was like, you know what? We have our own live gingerbread boy, and he's gonna live with us and take care of us. And he's and gingerbread man said, guess what? Fuck out of here! I'm out of here. And he said, catch me if you can. I need the gingerbread man. I think somebody caught him. I think somebody. I don't think so, my brother. I think think the gingerbread man is still hunting. He's running from this conversation. You you only, yeah, you only can run for so long because at the end of the day, you can realize and say, you know what? What am I running from? So who's Aunt Hanach? Who is she? <laughs> My brother. You oh, guys is kidding. They lied to you, champ. <laughs> Somebody need to give you the smelling salt. No. I You're going to wake up from this and go, oh, I God, I had a negative dream something. about Uncle Hanach. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start seeing some posts pretty soon. You can go social media. <laughs> Not yet, my brother. Yo, yo, oh, I know what's fucking you had up. I bet he's going to go social media with it. I know what just fuck you had up. <laughs> Hashaji, I know what fucked you up. See, you're thinking because I'm doing some work in the house, but beyond that, I know what you're thinking. Because you used to get... You used to wake up every Sunday and go, oh, we're going to have some football. We're going to have some American football, <laughs> ah, some coffee, and I'm going to look at Hanach, uh, going to have a uh, chocolate Sunday, and you're going to look at some beautiful black women on my on my feed. Hi. Right? Okay. okay. <laughs> now, a lot of people ask me, and coincidentally, um, some people think it's because of Karen Branch, because we're doing a lot of stuff lately. They think I'm fucking her or whatever's going on. That this is... This is not the case. Take it easy with this stuff. <laughs> you, you you would be good to go. <laughs> you, you wish. You oh, wish. You wish. Oh, you oh. Uh, this ain't my first barbecue, young lady. <laughs> this ain't the first. This ain't the first BBQ. You wish. Listen. You oh, wish. God, uh, you. Bring it in, baby. Yeah, I know. I I know to go. I'll go to Sarah Lawrence and get a one of those the dime a dozen. I go to Swarthmore, Sarah Lawrence. 
I know where exactly where to go. Get that one. Okay. So listen, listen, listen here. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Now here's the problem. What the fuck was I saying? Yeah, um, that you wish. Wait, no. What was the whole point of that Gosh, one? Gosh, man. Your memory know. is bad. Oh, oh, no, no. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. Now I'm smoking with the stuff that you were smoking uh, at the at the the. the uh, he forgot again. Jam. He forgot again. At the porch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I did forgot again. I had a point. Oh, the chocolate sundae. Okay. So a lot of people think I'm not posting a lot of cheesecake pictures of women and stuff like that anymore because I have a significant other. Now, the heel he's in, as I understand this, is like um, I was doing this just to have fun. And, and you know, sometimes I post the girls that I know. Sometimes these girls I, I follow and I, but I don't know them. I'm just trying to celebrate these chicks or these young ladies, whatever. And then I noticed an unfortunate uh, uh, pattern uh, checking place where uh, these chicks is not, you know, I, I see like they don't have too many followers. And then I and then I post them. And then all of a sudden they got double that one and triple. Then they got like a million. And these motherfuckers never once said like it, thank you, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? And then and then I noticed that and they never tried to post like my shit to say like, hey, let me throw this fucking guy a bones. You know what I mean? And we're talking about the ones that I don't know. The ones I know, they're cool, whatever. Right. But then another thing fucked my head up when this one chick came to me and offered me money to post her and she was banging, you know? And I thought, yeah, no shit, because these other motherfuckers out here, when you see those ones where it's like A1 Cheeks and Cheeks, Cheeksville and Black Cheeks Unlimited or what, you know, these kind of ones where they, where they post different chicks and stuff, you know, on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys charge these fucking women. Oh. So I, I didn't realize, like, these fucking chicks was getting over and I, you know, I was being like a Santa Claus pimp to these fucking chicks. You know what I'm saying? And all I need is a thank you. A, a thank you go a long way for me. You know, some appreciation. You know, when you, I, I took you from three thousand to a million. You understand? Yeah. And then, and then it's like, yeah. Let me, let me. I uh, thank you. You know, or just a, 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 you know, hey, hey, thanks. You know, that's all I want. Right. And then I was seeing that, and I was like, you know what? Fuck you. I, I could do bad by my motherfucking self. You understand? So, so I just so said, me, so, so you're not, you pictures put of, of on, random. You put these girls on to get a million followers, or at least I have I have put chicks on who had like, let's say they got three thousand, okay, yeah. and and consistent when I'm following them for a couple years, I seen them. They don't got shit going on. Then I post the shit, and then it don't take much for a hot girl if if she just get right. exposed, she's gonna blow the fuck up. Right. You understand? Bigger than I could possibly with, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. She just needs to get seen. And I see a lot of that kind of shit where now these girls just have like, for, for heel, like over a million from having like that, like a couple thousand or whatever. And I just think like, eh, how about a thank you? You know? You don't have to go. We don't have to go to dinner. You don't have to do no kind of just, how about thanks for putting me on? Thanks for sharing my shit or whatever. And then when I see other ones trying to, to like pay me and shit, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. Let me just do my shit. I don't need to big up other people's shit. Fuck that. I, it, it, that's not what you gotta come to me for anyway. You know what I mean? I don't gotta. I don't so gotta you're promote. Just, you're, just, you're putting over promoting these... people for free. Fuck you. Yeah, but, huh? but you know what? You're though? putting over you strangers, heard, heard, but fuck me and Rashad. Guy. You heard the little guy in the middle, though. You heard the guy in between, and that's not right. You know I understand, saying? but you know, here's the <laughs> here's the deal. If I know you. I can send you some of that ones on the on, on, on you know on the on the you know on the DL or whatever. Yeah. I send it to you in there. You know, <laughs> if you like that. If I know you're like a chocolate ones, you know, have you have your certain friends send you ones, you know, and your baby mama don't know about that. No, no, I don't see time. No, they don't have any groups where all the guys do it's like five guys and then they send each other cheeks pictures they don't have any yeah. guys like that, that. Doesn't no, exist. No, no, no. and they don't have no. any other ones like that where they send no. them inappropriate oh he's about to show his cheeks what, what happened there <laughs> girls don't girls don't have lists of would i wouldn't i list that we text. we're not <laughs> we don't have would i wouldn't i we okay. would on you all, just of them. Would all of them <laughs> you got some would i wouldn't i list of course are you you in some group with your friends 
<laughs> oh my. Of course, there's 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 the there's the there's a. What you yeah, doing on your phone? What you doing? She's in a phone? thing with of Native American girls she, who like a light skinned black guy. She. Okay. No, but she's, you know, she's girls deep in that phone. Hey, deep you can tell right her. You can tell her I just mm. found out that I have more Native American than I thought I did. I'm just saying, don't. <laughs> I'm serious. Exclusive oh, she's to mass, guys. She's probably over there mass deleting too. right now. That's what she's doing. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. listen. That's listen. funny. <laughs> hey, I know it is getting late. <clears throat> Rashad, it's getting real late for you on the uh, on the East Coast over there. Oh, Rashad, yeah. you, you changed the lighting. You started to look kind of fine right now. This you dude. change the lightings. Now we can see you. Now we can see the the the, the variations, the contour. Yeah, Thank yeah. Shot I mean, it is late. I know. I just want to see if there was any questions before before we get out of here. But I know, you know, I should let you guys go because it's late, and you know, Anthony has a little baby. Hanato's got. Uh, yeah, not got a baby. Listen, he's got a baby Smith's wife Listen I'm not. American. I think Uncle Hanach got something going on, and he's gonna get. He's gonna be on Instagram with it, posting <laughs> how much he love. And I'm so sorry, my brother. I think you're right, Rashad. I'm so, yeah. I am so sorry, my brother. He's gonna, he gonna take. He gonna have oh. to take a picture with with her reaching back at him and him. Reaching oh, you, for her. your whole expectations gonna, is all fucked up, my brother. <laughs> he can do it. I can tell, man. Oh no, he's nasty. <laughs> You know what? Um, uh, Hashaj looked like he should be in the band. He's touring with Laverge. You know the band Laverge? <laughs> what, ba <laughs> what band is that? You know, with Gerald Laverge and all that. You know those guys, Laverge? Yeah. But you, you're one of the guys that's not part of the exact family, <laughs> but you play keyboard. <laughs> for Just Laverge. Road, though. Yeah. Hey, lucky coast. Right? I think you look like a session musician. Thank you. A session musician. And, uh, people in the audience, don't he look like he's a session musician? You, like you, he you're the keyboard. Musician. You're the guy that goes out on the road. He still yeah. pulls chicks though because he's still. Oh, of course. <laughs> but you like, like I said, like if you go see Earth, Wind, and Fire, yeah, right. you're like yeah. I don't remember that guy yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But he's still <laughs> doing his shit, and you're like, okay, uh, he's So fun. you said I'm the off brand. Earth, Wind, and Fire. No, but you're like younger. In the background, you, yeah. you're younger than those guys. You want to be the off brand one. You just not. Yeah, but you, people yeah. think that you're like Philip Bailey's son or something. You'd be oh like, yeah. <laughs> no, he's he's Vadim White's son. Oh God, are you? <laughs> Man, these comments uh, are so funny. While listening to you guys, Uncle um, Notch is sounding sus right now. Whatever. Are you looking at the Yeah. That's fine if I'm, I'm sus. You can, you know right. what you can do? You can sus my dick for how hot I Did you just call Rashad fine? <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> That's high. And I got more uh, <laughs> than you ever in your life. Yeah. Just Whoever just made that comment about sus. Only guys with sus make the comment about a sus. Well, listen, uh, B BKR America, Blacker America or something is saying this is so fun right now. I'm glad that you're enjoying this. Thank you. You know, we were doing part of this over on Instagram and I didn't know if we should do it on Instagram, the after party or do it over here. And maybe we'll go back to Instagram. Maybe we'll keep it here. I don't know what people like it. I like it here, but I like it. I like it where people want to see it. Well, yeah. you don't care usually what people want to see. What's this money shit that keeps popping in? What's this shit? Money? Where? Yeah. I don't know. Are oh. Gifts? Is that like money? Oh. Yeah, you know I what? Know. Well, Thank well, well. Mean, it looked to me like Karen Branch is collecting money dope. off this one. <laughs> okay. Thanks for making us smile. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So Karen Branch, huh? You show a couple cheeks. I just don't understand it. Okay. It means that they're chipping her, and guess who? Guess whose account she's gonna go into? <laughs> huh. uh, guess okay. whose account? She's gonna make fifteen. She's gonna make fifteen dollars the hard way, Paul. Oh my God, oh, no, fourteen ninety nine. When actually. I work with these two guys, we all are 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 conscientious. Like if we go out, we all buy each other drinks or whatever. That's because like, you guys ain't making no money on that program. God, we, share, we share the wealth. And and Hanato, I whoops, I said to you. The that's because they, they that's because they keep you guys at the super I h motel you, i said i wanted to take you out to dinner to to say thank you for doing these shows with me and we were You're both shit. Just busy, but i said i would take you out to say thank you where do we send this invoice <laughs> shit you should be Rashad. checking me out more than that you should be Rashad paying my bills you should be paying my hospital bills how am i paying your bills and you, 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 you working again 
This weekend. I leave on Thursday. Uh, let me no. tell you something. I'm going to be out there, too. And let me tell you something. You should be paying Listen, all my bills, Kata. Last, you're Karen. Last you're lucky. Time, last time. This I ain't, was, this no, ain't no, matrimony. No. This is McElhoney. You, 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 you got, this ain't for free. You got, you got to pay for this one. <laughs> you understand? But isn't this a, isn't this a symbiotic relationship here? Aren't you getting as much out of it as you're get, giving? Symbionic? Oh God, I, yeah, that's all the other shit. That's the six million dollar man. Tips. <laughs> you, hey, I hey, give hey, you son hey. bionic. I, I give you son a bionic joint. I don't mean you're not to gonna in. know what hit you, Paul. Huh? But someone wants to hear Rashad's Overeem impression. Yeah, oh, I please! Rashad, I want to hear that. Get out of here. Uh, well, um, <laughs> somebody said I'm gypsy and I don't want to let no one talk. <laughs> Is that how it come off? I hope so. Oh, God, uh, yo, that's why I'm your uncle. I, I'm gypsy and I don't let nobody talk. Uh, Mr. Overy. <sighs> well, um, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Uh, Rashad, you are cordially invited to my training session this afternoon. Please don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you were you were telling a story of how he. Oh my him. god! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yo, has he heard that shit? <laughs> yeah. What? He must have laughed his fucking ass off. Yeah, he laughed. He laughed. He laughed about it. He laughed. It's so good. You laugh about it, man. Over him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, he always got his have his head like, well. <laughs> oh, boy. He's a good dude. I got cordially invited to a training session with Overeem and Curtis Blaze one time. I told him both oh. fuck off. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they're gonna shit. cordially try to kick your fucking head you off your shoulder. Yeah, no disrespect. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all. Overeem. That's I too much, him. man. I've seen Overeem just completely destroy his training partners, and then he'd be like, "Well, we'll get another one." <laughs> <laughs> just breaks all his toys. Yeah. I can just fucking imagine. Yeah, I can he, just imagine yeah, that he would be just like yeah, Overeem, that. No, Overeem, super Overeem, nice guy, though. Overeem, yeah, he, he's a he's a great he's a great guy. He's a cool dude. But when it comes to training, oh my god! You know what? He might me those Dutch guys like that. He might me of like. They like the kickboxing equivalent of like a shooter box guys, you know, mm -hmm. of like Brazilian shooter box guys. Yeah. It's like they yeah. they just trying to kick your fucking brain. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly I, what it's I like. tell that story to everyone too. There's no ego here. Those are two of the last human beings on the planet I want to train with. They're, <laughs> they're big and fast and athletic. You're not dragged on my little ass. One, one time, I, uh, one time I trained with Verdun, and I had yeah, like I, I I had. <laughs> I had I didn't know what I was. I didn't know what I was. He's a big boy. It, He's huge. What, not only is he a big boy, but we had like a full straight up fight. Like it was a fight straight up. Like we were throwing like yeah, we, a fight. we talked about this because the same. But thing if you think about it, that's why because um, Rafael come from shoot box, you know. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, those guys fun, used to beat each other's brain and like that. That's just the way they did shit. Yeah. It was, it was like to try to knock each other out in yeah. spawn. Yeah. It, 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 it got to the point where Mola uh, Mo was like, hey, 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 dog, dog. Hey. Wait, who said this? Mo? Mo? He was like, hey, oh, hey, <laughs> King Mo? Hey, 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 just chill, dog. Hey, just chill, dog. Hey, just chill, dog. <laughs> I love a King Mo. I love it's King, like King Mo. Doom, King Mo just, yeah, he's no joke. Hey, just chill, dog. Hey, <laughs> dog. Hey, dog. dog. Just chill, dog. I love some King Mo, boy. Huh? Um, Did you guys ever hear the story that King Mo wasn't allowed at the host hotel during COVID anymore? Because apparently he didn't give a shit about the restrictions. He just walk out and leave when he was cornering people and shit. He just. Was, I'm not surprised. He do, yeah, That's he a King Mo. I did not hear that. Do I? He's a yeah, strong so black. Funny. The story. He's a hilarious. strong he young brother. He's like, yeah, I'm leaving. He just would come. He'd come and go from the bubble like as he pleased. Didn't he? Would you expect nothing less from your King Mo Mohammed Lawal? Um, wow. But that fucking shit. <laughs> Do that one more time. That the, the uh, Alistair. Well, um, Uncle. Hunter, <laughs> I think. <laughs> you got the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's it man and he have like a certain kind of attitude oh my yeah. god 
<laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, <laughs> and you have that little hair in the front there. I see. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> that sh that's gonna be yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh, it's great. <laughs> I ask oh. Rashad to do that all the time. Oh, we got to get that yeah, fucking guy really into right. this so we can gig on that dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we always make Rashad do that on the air. Well, if you've noticed, whenever Alistair would fight, like Rashad would always work the desk with us. It's like, cause so we, I never saw him. I, this is the first oh, time I've seen this. always set him up to do that on the I never seen it until it's just hilarious. now, and I'm dying because no one does that. No one talk about that. And he's definitely a character. No, nobody. It seemed like nobody pick up on that, you know. No, nah, he's um, a character, man. We gotta get that guy on here. Yeah, for sure. I tell you what, I seen that guy back in like, let's say two thousand four. He came into like that old place, Legends. It was like the, uh, yeah, just the old. Legends. Yeah, but the first incarnation of Legends, like on La Brea. Yeah. Two thousand four, about, and he walked in there. And I'm not kidding you when I say this. He look about the same size as me. I'm not fucking joking. <laughs> then about three, four, five years later, whatever the fuck, I see this guy come out and he look like as if David Banner and the Hulk. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not kidding you. He had the same type of body type as me. He just looked like a normal human being. Yeah. Maybe like two inch taller than me. Maybe nice. an inch taller. Okay. And he, then he, he looked like a fucking a uh, 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 cartoon character. Yeah, he, he was massive. When he first came to Black Zillions, he was massive. I remember uh, one time we had the UFC, like the, the the UFC had like a fighters convention, right? So yeah, all the yeah, fighters, there. And remember they used to do that back in the day? All the yeah. fighters have a convention. I so, remember seeing Overeem there. Yeah, Overeem, yep. Overeem what was he there. saying there? Well, so, so, we, so we went to, so we went to uh, a party it was like a little um it was like one of like a little swim party and it was like one of those clubs right so we're just like all sitting around and i'm like kind of like over with some of my other friends that are like hosting the party and then alistair came over and he says hmm, what are you doing <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just chilling there having a few drinks and then out of nowhere he just like bop slapped the shit out of me. <laughs> he slapped the shit out of me and jumped in the pool and it's like i'm like Yo. i'm like what it was like some Charlie Murphy shit. Like, what did the hand say? A face and just slap the shit out of me. So I'm like, yeah. and with that accent he have, truly, yeah, he like, kind of add that to that. Yeah, he's like, yeah how you just, doing? Oh, how you doing? Oh. And it just slapped me and just jumped in the pool. And I'm like, yo, I wasn't even, I wasn't even in my swim clothes. So I get down to my underwear and I jump in the pool after him. And him and I are in the pool just slapping the shit out of each other to the point where people started getting out of the pool. The security guards had to come over oh, after no. we were like getting into it. Yeah, we're getting into it. And then the security guards come over and they're like, hey guys, guys, we we, we can't, we're not gonna be able to break you guys up, but could you please Can stop? You please? Yeah. yeah, they begged us to stop. And I'm just like, yo, oh my gosh. But I'll never forget that man, Alistair was wild. Like, just came and just slapped me in the face, bop. That's I can imagine he was wearing like a European style bathing suit too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. I love it. That's crazy. Well, I'm sure this needs to be illustrated. These need to be illustrated, like um. Oh my God! I, well, I was like, just gonna say, kind of like how Bisping is going doing that tour. Like you know, Anthony, you guys, two, the two of you could go on a tour together and tell stories. Yeah, that'd be yeah, that would be. Fun. You know what? I wish I could have been around for like the. Uh, the vintage Rashad days, like the party Rashad. Oh man! Because oh, hearing the hearing the party Rashad story, I'm I'm glad that I got the Rashad that I got now. Yeah. But like, we could just go back for like a weekend. Oh I man! I only got the tail end of party Rashad. Oh man, party Rashad was <laughs> a wild boy. He said, a wild boy. <laughs> a wild boy. I had to retire him. I had to retire him. He was he was out of control, man. Lose out of control. <laughs> a true partier, man. Yeah, one weekend would be fun though. I'm we used to, we used to sure. go to we used to go to live all the time, you know. And uh, Glenn is that Glenn, in Vegas or that's in Miami? That's in Miami. It's in Miami. It's a yeah. club in Miami. Live yeah. live on Sunday. They call it the church, and like all everybody go on the rappers go and shit like that. So it's a pretty big thing. And Glenn 
used to like buy out like one of the most expensive tables and we'd just be there just like popping bottles, man. It was like a it was like a real life movie, man. It's some crazy shit, man. That's cool. On yeah. Sunday. On Sunday. Uh the day of the Lord, you're heathen. <laughs> oh. I know, man. And then you guys just telling me about what the fuck I'm up to here. <laughs> Falling in love. You got no. You got none of those left. You're blued up. Hey, he somebody just up. said falling in love. <laughs> Not me, boy. Huh? Which makes me think of falling in and out of love. And falling last thing I'll ask you guys, love. and then we'll wrap it up. But <laughs> what do you think about the fact that Tyron is getting the rematch with Jake? I think it's great. I'm happy Secure. for Tyron. I'm happy for Tyron. Make sure. Just, Secure I just, the bag. I just pray. I, yeah, yeah, get, that, get that money. Get that money. My, my thing great. at this point. Oh, go ahead, my brother. No, nah, I mean, look, I just want him to get that money, get that money. But at the same time, I want him to fight the way that he can fight. That's all of I course. want. Like, of if course. he fights the way that he can fight and, like, just start letting it go, dog, it, it'd, be, it'd be so much better, man. Because after the last fight and then the way he walked away and he was, like, begging him for a rematch... I was like, oh, that just kind of hurt me a little bit to see him do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, come on, T-Wood. That ain't the move. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying. But, you know, the thing is, like, I feel he – I feel like he's not afraid to get hurt or nothing like that. What I think is, like, his main fear is, like, if I open up too much and I just catch a bad one, I'll kill myself. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, with something if he leaves himself open. I don't think, I think the way he was fighting in that last fight, especially in the early hounds, he started to open up a little bit. But in the early hounds, I, I saw a man who is like, I'm going to win this fight, but I'll be damned if I'm going to get caught with something by this fucking guy. So it was like he was thinking in that mindset, like, too safe. The main thing I got to do is just no matter what happened, don't catch a bad one. Yeah, yeah. Not, I think that out. was the thing. Like he can't go back to the barber shop for the rest of his life. You understand? But I think I think it's also I think he's also afraid to get tired because it's not like yeah. it's mm. it's not like um this is the first time he's fighting like this. It's it's been a consecutive thing. He's afraid to get tired. And if you ever been tired in a fight, it is the it is the scariest shit in the world. When you're tired in a fight, yeah, and yeah. and you can barely stand nightmare. up and like in your in your and you're fighting just to stand up because you're so damn tired, and yeah. then not now you have to keep somebody off you. That's the scariest yeah. shit in the world. And no, then you have there's corner, nothing worse. Yeah, and then you have your corner telling you to do shit that you can't even do because you're so even tired. And you're yeah, looking at you want to like, tell them, hey, I know, motherfucker, yeah, I can't do it. So yeah. that that is that is a very scary feeling. So I understand it, but you got shit to get off the pot, man. You got to go. Yeah, but, I, I mean, no, but in this one this though, time, if he doesn't go this time, he's never going to, and that's. Uh, I think we talked about that a little bit today. Just <clears throat> he's only got two weeks to to train for it, which could be a good thing. Like he's not stressing about it. He's not worried about it. He doesn't have all that build up and stress and yeah. all the hype from everyone else around him. But if if this isn't enough to pull the trigger and say, listen, I probably don't have eight rounds of gas in me anyways because it's only two weeks notice. You got to go right away. I don't think anything will. Um, I just want Tyron to stop fighting like he's a neutral. Cause like here's yeah. here's my mindset. I'll just go out on my shield. Like if I'm gonna lose anyways, I'd rather lose knowing that I gave everything I possibly could to get the win. So if that means that I open up and and leave myself open for something, but I'm trying to win and I get finished, I'm gonna sleep better when I get home, knowing yeah. that like I didn't leave anything on the table. And Rashad, you talked today about leaving mm-hmm. leaving money on the table, or or, yeah. or you know that transfers to just the actual fight itself, like. I've I've left fights before John Jones specifically and got back to the hotel. Like I don't even feel like it was a fight. Like I had a lot more I could that I think I could have given. That one keeps me up. The Glover to Sheriff mm. fight doesn't keep me up at all. I, I sleep mm-hmm. just fine. It doesn't bother me at all. Because yeah. I did everything I possibly could to win and it just didn't. Um I think Tyrants had a lot of those nights mm-hmm. where he had yeah, more I agree. Bank and I agree. Like I mean, eventually you, you would think he's just gotta go and say fuck it. Yeah, I just, at this point. I just think that the I the the for him the thought of of like what you just described, which is like fuck it, you know, somebody's gonna get you know, just just go for broke or whatever and just leave it all out there. If I one of us get knocked out, it, it is what it is. I think the thought of that is so unthinkable to him mm-hmm. because of who it is. 
that it's just, I think that that's the, the thing in his way is that I cannot, when it used to be, I can't lose this belt, which is when he got safe. You understand? Yeah. Like there was a certain time when he, he had the belt and he was like, okay, I'm fighting not to lose this fucking belt. No matter Damian Maya, I'm going to make sure I'm going to fight this fight. I don't care if it's boring or whatever. We're going to win this one. I think in this case, he's like, I am not getting knocked out by this guy. I don't care what I got to do. And so that for us as the fans and people who love him as a person and, you know, as a fighter and all that, we're like, come on, man. We don't care. Don't worry about it. Just go. You know, we want to see you just, go and be you. Just be yourself. But just, I think it's the I think it's just the thought of getting knocked out by that fucking kid is yeah. like he don't want that on his tombstone. I know, yeah. but what's, you, but he already got the tattoo at this point now. I understand. But the good news is for me, my heart was so invested in the other one. Now I don't really care. All I give a shit for him, when I found out the news, I was like, I'll tell you this. When I first found out about the first fight, I went, no, don't do this. I felt like, oh, please don't do this, child. Uh -huh. Now that all that shit's in the past, I was like, yes, get that money. Get money. All I thought about was his family and his mm -hmm. future generation. Right, I was right. like, I don't even give a fuck what happened in the yeah, fucking I fight. Good. Mwah. You just won the lottery. Good for you, my brother. I don't give a fuck. Whatever happens gonna happen, you know? Well, I'm working that night. Rashad, you're fighting that night. Well, I'm glad I don't have to watch. Like, I'll be busy because last time, yeah, like you just said, my I was so invested and my heart was broken and I'm screaming and yelling at the TV. Like, I, you know, I'm glad this time, like you said, he'll get paid. I think it'll go well. You know, there was But no matter what. Whether or not there was a no knockout clause or not or whatever, but like, it is what it is. But yeah, like you said, he'll get some money. I'm happy for him. Yeah, I'm with yeah. it. I'm with it. Nice. Either yeah, way, you, I'm still gonna have the herringbone. You are. You know what though? The jewelry, the cologne. Jake, Jake is not a bad boxer though. Jake is. Jake I, I can see Jake. that. Yo, Jake is actually pretty, pretty, uh, pretty decent, man. So, I, I, um, I understand, like, yeah. how, how he's a little apprehensive. I understand the apprehension, but I mean, uh, he had heavy hands. Yeah, he have a heavy hand, and you know, if he didn't, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah. So that's a credit to this fucking kid, which is frustrating because you don't want people that you don't like to be good. <laughs> but that's that's life. Know, that's fucking life, poha. Too fucking bad. The kid yeah. to box, you suck it up. Eat it. You know, yeah, live. He's, we don't he's even a have. At, and he's a genius at marketing too. Yeah, we don't yeah. have enough he's time. He's a genius at this. marketing. No, I'm saying, look, I don't want to get you all, you hackles up. Don't I'm not saying. Up. I'm going to start sweating right now talking. About I'm not saying he's Tommy Morrison. I'm saying he's better. <laughs> he's better than we wished he would have been up to this point. He is not at some we high can, level. Yeah, we can he's be, better yeah. than we want him to be. He's better than period. I wish he was. Yes, exactly. I don't think he's great. I don't think he's at the level. He, if he fought anybody that's relevant in, in pro boxing, he'd get killed, okay? But for what he's doing, even what even fighting against like someone like Chiron Woodley, he looked better than we thought. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know yeah. that dude's like my size, right? Yeah, he's a big. I, I, I'm again. It pisses he, me off. That's the I, one thing it pisses me it. off too. We know what he's doing. You ever see me? We Tyron understand the hustle, yeah. huh? Tyron looks like my son when we're next. I time. understand. He's a sm he's a small gentleman. <laughs> it's frustrating. But it's, yeah, it's, I, it listen, is. Listen, Anthony, you can't knock his hustle, though, man. You can't knock know. it. Not at all. And, and more important, you, know, you can't. It's a hustle it's, part it's, of it in the marketing it's, and, it's and like genius. what he's doing money wise. It is it's genius. It's, it's freaking yeah. genius. And Chiron is benefiting from this. Yeah. We should be throwing a parade. I don't care what happened. <laughs> this fucking guy, win, lose, or draw, he's gonna make generational money, yeah. like to change his family's fortune. Yeah. He might be changing people in the community. He, he, there, God knows what he can do with they this look, fucking money to help Tyron, Ferguson. Five, you know, five in a row, you're gonna make more money than exactly. Almost, He's gonna make more money than he USC made his whole career. Yeah, in the, in, 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 on the roster this year. Yeah, so and let's think like, about probably, those positive. There's probably five fighters in the UFC that are gonna make more money than Tyron Woodley's lost five fights in a row and not yeah. in the UFC. Yeah, yeah I mean, maybe I maybe he, celebrate that. Yeah, maybe my contract with High Haulers is somewhere in the ballpark, but other than that. 
You're, you're not gonna find something like that, you know. Yeah, Ladies I'm, I'm out happy there. Well, I'm happy. Speaking I'm of high so rollers, sorry. okay. So that gives us a, a nice way to wrap this up, Renato. Yeah. So this coming weekend, you will be working high rollers. Anthony, you're working the UFC 269. Rashad, are you working this weekend? No, I'm, I'm just training. Yeah, Damn, I Hashad, but so Rashad, that, that fucked Hashad up. Weeks. Yeah, so everybody hype up. Why don't you pitch away, Hanato? We'll go around the room here. You well, damn, Hashad didn't seem too excited about my shit as soon as you brought up mine. He went like this. <laughs> it's 2 in the morning for him. It's late. I don't give a shit. Look, this is what it is. He got to wake the fuck up then. Drink some coffee. Drink some Nescafe or whatever. <laughs> Uncle Nuts. Sorry. Drink fuck. some Sorry uh, international foods coffee. Uncle Nuts. Uncle Nuts. Sorry for the disrespect, man. I'm Shit, just saying. Do you remember what those a... different flavors of international food? Of course. And you, the, yeah, you sprinkled that one. Yeah. Anyway. So talk, so talk about high rollers, man. Yeah. So high, high rollers. This one is going to be exciting because uh, along with the weed, there's going to be a tournament where uh, the winner – it's like um, it's like the old school Valley Trudeau fights where they whittle it down and then the whole winner is going to win like 10,000 for the night, you know, nice. um, plus the weed and all that stuff. And, to, you know, you're going to get some of them is going to get to meet you, Uncle Hanach. Wow. And some of them I'm not going to snub and stuff like that if I feel like it. And then um, you got some people who is like uh, you got some UFC guys, you got some fucking um, Bellator guys, you got the guy Patchy Mix. God, I, you know, I'm fucking up because I can't even remember the hosta. But there's a lot of people, known guys, who is big in MMA especially, who is in this one, you know. And it's going to be exciting. Oh, uh, you know what's fucked up, though? AJ McKee was supposed to be in there, and I think he got – maybe he got hurt or something happened where he had to pull out last minute. That's but true. he was in there. But it's a lot of those kind of guys, you know, where it's kind of like, oh, shit, what's going to happen? And who's going to win that one? And, you know, they're going to be high and, you know, it's going to be exciting. Cool. And I'm going to be like a Scrooge. I'm going to be like Uncle Scrooge at that one and okay. drawing out a bar humbugs and putting coal in their stocking, no matter how good they do. Bro. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And Anthony, you're you're working for the, on the ESPN desk? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got, um, yeah, I go Thursday. I'm actually going to stay in Vegas for a couple, uh, for one extra day. I'm going to do some golfing. With, nice. uh, some golfing? Bro. Yeah, I'm going to golf in Vegas for an extra day and then uh, be back Monday. That's That's really all I got going on. So Get them to give you an extra suite. I did, go, I, I did last week. I did go to New York again. I did do that. Yeah. What was that about? I ju I just went to to see the the tree lighting at Rockefeller Center. Oh, how convenient! Did you brought your wife here? I did. Oh, the whole family. Okay. Because okay. that sounds like something I would have said. More Karen. Why are you being so like? Good? I go. I I'm, go twice in a hall. That's just great and interesting that you went back a week later. It is yeah. interesting. Why is it interesting? If it was me, I'm going to tell my girlfriend or wife here, I'm going to be like, hey, I'm going for the tree lighting for her. I know. I took uh, the whole family so the kids could see it. That's nah. great. That we really went for like one day. That was no, it. that's awesome. Uh, you're just building them up to, for a fall, you know. You got to <laughs> tell them what's going on. <laughs> and you um, – uh, setting them up for a lot of disappointment. Your going to be on Fight Pass. People are going to be able to see it on the 18th. Yeah, it'd be on Fight Pass. You'd be now, who are you going to slap the shit out of? It's a super fight or a tournament? Uh, just turn. No, no, just a super fight. Who, who are you against? Ryan Aiken. Who's that? I don't know, he's, but I don't, he's, like he's, I don't like him. I don't like him. Is he a like jiu-jitsu? No, it sounds familiar. He's a jiu-jitsu guy? Yeah, he's a jiu-jitsu guy, yeah. Is he maybe a Chen Planet guy? Um, I'm not sure. He, he's a leg locker. I know I, that. I know this guy. I just can't picture him, but I think I know who you who this guy is, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it, it. it's an interesting thing because it, like it. it's funny because the, the fucking My, leg locks is usually the great equalizer. But when people go for the leg locks, they leaving themselves up for some humdinger. You know what they leaving themselves up for? F five across the lips like a Fred Sanford. <laughs> I'm going to give you five across the lips. You yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I think right, LaMarche. Yeah, I, gotta get out of here. I, gotta I think LaMarche and, 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 and Grady know something about that. I Hashad, Hashad. Listen, guys, right, thank you for, I'll see you later, man. I for being here with us. And yeah, uh, <laughs> it's it's fun. Uh, it's been fun. Hanato, good luck with your rumpus room. Wow, you know, I'm working on that one. Hey, you know, one of these days. I know you, you're thirsty to see that one, but hey, you never know. Tell your girl we said hi. Yeah, you're trying to see the studio over <laughs> here. Hanato. Shit.
Tell, yeah. your, tell your girl that me and me and Rashad said hi. Yeah, I will. Exactly. I'm gonna tell that one. You keep, you keep. If that's whatever help you sleep at night, poor huh? You want me to be misery love company? You want me to be just like you fucking guys? Fuck that. <laughs> You guys can well, have you guys, that. Uh, anyway, thanks for everybody that was here. Uh, thanks for joining <laughs> us. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, bye. Okay. Hey. Bye, bye. Take it. Until, until next time. Bye. bye.